Well, we are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club, everybody. Today, we have a very special, special, <laughs> special guest. Mr. JT Oltz is with us. How are you, dude? I'm good, thanks. Man, <laughs> thank you yes. so much for coming by. It's a pleasure. I haven't seen you in probably, I don't even know, <laughs> 10 years? No. Oh, maybe 25. 20, 20, <laughs> 25 years? Oh, wow. my God. Yeah, that's quite some time. Jesus, man. Wait, how did you guys even, did you guys skate together back in the day or something or what? We were talking about that before the show. And um, we had a f mutual friend, Bert, right? Mm -hmm. Bert Zdenek. Bert Zdenek. He worked at the, at the skate shop that I used to go. That's Ig. how I met him. Ig. Ig. Yeah. yeah. In the Valley. No, in, not no. in the Valley. Sorry, Dubs. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to put the disclaimer where, out there. Where, where, where was it? <laughs> this is in Agura. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the valley. Agora. Yeah. He was friends with Tim Dowling, who I mm -hmm. skated with. And so Tim being friends with Bert and you being friends with Bert. Yep. That was the connection. We formed like Voltron. And it was, <laughs> and it was history was just, it made, you know, it was just, we killed it. <laughs> well, wait, because you guys were both in the Listen video. That's right. There it That's is. right. No, no, yeah. Listen, was that your first, uh, was that your first part? In the well, listen video? Yeah. I mean, like a couple tricks, but yeah, I, I think that was the first of anything. I think uh, Tim actually filmed some clips that got in 401. That before first, that? Before that, yeah. Mm, okay. But, Which 401s do you remember? I don't remember. Really? <laughs> I like should you would think that this, that would yeah. be like a I, monumental. You should know this, right, <laughs> Kelly? Yeah. I, yeah, I, maybe. maybe. Yeah, I really, I would just take a guess, but I, I don't remember. Take a guess. <laughs> 28 maybe 28 that's a good hey. one so, somewhere Why around not? there Kelly what was it, what was number 28 28 who had the dunt who uh Costin maybe I can't I think it was the one uh <laughs> I know there's some really good road trip in there. I can't. I have to think about it. You're too quick with this right now, dude. <laughs> Give me some time. Sorry, let the coffee kick yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. yeah Bert Zdenek, Tim Dowling, and then so you four one one, but you don't remember. You would think that that like uh, yeah, no, first video it, you're in a four one one. Were you even like? I was so stoked, but I, I don't remember the number. That's weird. How do yeah. you not remember I this? Don't know. I don't know. Do you have the video? I, I do. Yeah, but I, he wouldn't even remember what it was if you looked at it. He'd be like, I don't no, know. No, that's which... when it'll come back. You look at it's the video. It's somewhere in the 20s. That's what it is. Do you remember what trick you added it? Yeah. It what? was a nollie flip down an eight. Oh. Okay. And then like a 50-50 on a handrail, like 11 stair next to a wall. And both at Agora High School. Agora High. Nice. Yeah. Wait a minute. Which, which I think it was which... 27 that you were in. That, yeah, my, so I, I think was it was close, 27. Maybe. Wow. Yeah. How is this even <laughs> happening right, right now? Yeah, yeah, Nolly flipped down. Oh, no, I, <laughs> here's reaction. No, I remember it. It was some like it was some it, some song I could never find on the internet. I remember like I don't know, but uh, I just remember you being in that in that chaos. Now you can Shazam that song. Yeah, and, yeah, you know, it was find like, it. Oh, I'm not going to start singing the song. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know what you're saying. Naked Eye. Yeah, uh, was it that one? I think it was oh, that one. Yeah. I know what's one that is. That was a, a popular song at the time. Yeah, I, I'm going to sing have to it. Deep dive after this, yeah. <laughs> Please <laughs> indulge. Yeah, just joking. So it was twenty-seven. I'm glad we got to the bottom of that. <laughs> now the the uh, the fifty-fifty down the wall mm -hmm. of the on a uh, rail on a wall. It's a ten or eleven. There were like was that the stairs? big one that everybody that a couple people skated in the front of the school? Yeah, yeah. It okay. Was, I don't know. I think I, some people like Ollie did. I know and, like, Bert skated at, it. At okay. Ollie did, and there was a couple like, legends. Yeah, yeah, people yeah. doing tricks down. Okay. Them, but, but um, yeah, it was right in front of the school. Long stairs. Long stairs. How did you even meet, like, or start filming? So you've met Tim Dowling through this guy, Bert. Yeah, so Bert worked at the skate shop called Ig Performance. Yeah. And when I, I moved from Burbank to, uh, to Oak Park, and that was the closest shop around, so I just started going in there. Oh, so are you from up up in this zone? or Kind of bounced around. I, I was born in San Diego and grew up in San Diego. Yeah. And then moved when my... Parents split up. I moved to Burbank for a good amount of time and then moved to Agora and then back to San Diego. Oh. So, so bounced, bounced around quite a bit. Yeah. Wait, Which, when did you move back down to San Diego? Tenth, uh, ninth, after ninth grade. Okay. So, so was, you started out skating here and then yep. what grade were you in when Listen came out? Ninth grade, ninth, yeah. So oh, around really? that yeah, same was, time, yeah. you moved back down to SD. Yeah, okay, it was like right okay. after Listen had came out. Got you. How old were you when I first saw you? Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah, I must story. have been fourteen. Damn. So I'm pretty stoked to be here and talk about that because I get to like. 
formally say thank you because oh, dude. <laughs> that was <laughs> like you. a heavy moment. And thank you as well. I mean, again, you were you were just a, like, randomly skating in front of uh, I think Oak Park Junior, not even Junior High, yeah, Elementary, it was Red Oak, Red Oak. Yeah, yeah there I had you the go. Sledge and and I, I don't know. I just saw a spark in you. And I was just like, I'm gonna give it my board room, and I gave you my whole complete. I believe, like yeah. So Jaron gave me his whole his whole set. You might have been there. Uh, maybe what not. me? <laughs> I, feel I like must have given you something if I was there. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you were with the crew and, and you were always around okay. when, Tim, when Tim was. Maybe. Oh, yeah, Tim Dowling. Wait, which which school is Oak Park? What, what is it's that? It's uh, Red, you said Red, Red Park? Oh, Red Park. Park. No, Red, Red Oak. Red Oak. Oak. It's an Even, elementary school. Okay. What, what did they maybe have not. there? Maybe I'm just like mushing a bunch of sessions. You know what? I think I might have been because the reason I was over there is because my girlfriend at the time, which is my wife now, used to live like right around the corner from there. So I think I saw you skating and I just probably just cruised up and I had, my, I, was, I think I had my car and I just popped the trunk and just gave yeah, you that's the board. How, yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Wow. Wow. Yeah, random. But you didn't, you had no idea until years later that it was JT. No, he explained it in an in a interview and I was like, wait, this is the, the dude I gave the board to? And you to? didn't, you remembered giving it to him. Yeah, of course. But in hindsight, if that story would have never came up, I would have, it would have just been a kid I gave a complete to. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah, yeah. But then for him to have a little a interview come out and I don't know what if what magazine it was in, but I do specifically remember reading it. I was like, holy shit, that was the kid. he's the kid. Yeah, no, it was <laughs> it was uh, it was trippy. I was I was telling you earlier that I was I was at the skate shop and Dron's board had just came out. It was this blue board and I was I was gonna buy it and I didn't have enough and I was like gonna go back. You know, okay. I'm not making that up. I, and, and that, that, is, that was really <laughs> yeah. That's okay. Same day he gave me his whole setup. same day. Same day. It was like four hours later. That's I was skating to school, and he was like, "He, yeah, you came out and popped the trunk." And he was like, "Keep on ripping," and gave me the board, and I was like, "Like, mind blown." Was it? Oh, it was the blue board. It was blue. Yeah, blue board. Like yeah, all different shades of blue or wow. like baby blue. And like yeah, that was royal like blue. I think the yeah the one of the that was my first board. It's the girl logo, the big girl mm -hmm. logo, right? Yeah. yeah. Didn't they reissue that board like a little while ago? Not that color. What? No. Nah. Oh, uh -uh. Okay. I, that would be dope to bring that board back. But here's yeah. a question, right? It's like. How often does that actually happen? Where you're like driving by a spot, you see a kid skating, you pull over. If you have a board in the car, sure, right? Maybe a used board or just a board. You say, hey, here's a board or here's some stickers or whatever. But to give them your complete. The complete. That's yeah. what tripped me out. That's like, crazy. When in my older age, I was like, I would never give someone my trucks. Right. You, like, you break them in and you're and like, that's I don't know what it was. Maybe I had two completes in the car. I don't know. I, maybe. Yeah. I I don't normally do that. Right. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, why, why, like, well, I wonder what possessed you to give him, but then he JT Ults. I mean, there like, you go. Skate for real. And mm -hmm. I mean, so many different companies. I'm assuming you don't have that board anymore. I wish I had that. Board. I was going to say, if I you brought I, boards yeah. here, I was like, you oh, I would have brought that yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. I wish I had that board. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So crazy, bro. Small yeah, world. Small dude. world, yeah, no yeah, doubt, man. Crazy. And that kind of goes back to the uh, Jesse Martinez story. Yeah, I mean, basically me explaining to him how that got pushed forward. Well, yeah, that got pushed forward, and I did the same thing. So Jesse Martinez, I mean, I saw him at Venice uh, Walls, and, and, dude, he was like, follow me back to the crib, and I did, and he gave me a board, and I'm like, oh, my God. That's just in, a memory that's in my head now forever, you know what I mean? And yeah, I constantly, that's the same. Yeah, yeah I constantly yeah. say that to everybody for the most part. Well, how old were you when he gave you the board? I was 13 or 14, maybe? 13 or 14? Yeah. So you were already following skating girls oh, skate, yeah, yeah. you were you knew everything yeah i knew exactly like, so I how long you'd been skating up until that point i started skating when i was nine or something so oh, i've been sick. skating a little while maybe sick. i was 15 yeah i couldn't have been more than 14 or 15 okay. yeah. at the time yeah um i feel like mouse had just came out too at that that time okay you, you turned pro right when mouse came out right or, uh, or around it maybe it was right before mouse came out probably but. right before yeah right before i think uh, no or right after it had to be an after. After Mouse came out, yeah. I believe so. It was either 90... Fuck, I don't even like saying this shit. Nine, <laughs> 96. 96 sounds right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's just say 2006. It was 2006. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> we got... Uh, oh, this is the... Um, oh, wow. You oh, found it. it. Is. Yeah. yeah, this is, is it the 27? chaos. It, this is... A, wait, is it 27, wow. Raj? This is 27. Yep. Wow. Yep. I remember that. This too. Yep. How do we that was a good this? one. We got Oh, this is a. It's a bad loader. Yeah, the look at MJ. Yeah, it's a bad player. We already skip it. It's, it's not the naked. It's not the naked eye song. It's something else. I can't remember what the hell it was called. But um, <laughs> there we go. It's a horrible oh. player. <laughs> anyway, we got. We saw the tricks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you sponsored already at that point when you're in the like in four and ones? Were you like getting boards from anyone? 
Not at that time, no. No. I, I was getting like the shop would hook me up with boards and stuff. I, okay. You know what? I might have been. Flo- I got flowed boards through Evil at some point. Okay. Evil through the skate shop. Okay. And then and then maybe Planet Earth for like a second too, like through the skate shop, all through like a, a rep, yeah, rep yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of thing. So yeah. maybe was well, that based out of here down in San Diego? No, it was out of it was that shop Ig. So okay. whoever there was some connection. To, yeah, because Tim Delling was already filming at that point. He's filming for a girl. I'm assuming at that point, mm-hmm. what video no, was that? Probably just made Mouse. Yeah, actually, and Mouse. Then, that's, then he was gonna do Listen. And then so you're skating with Bert out there, and then Tim's just filming you, and then like no, Tim was just skating with Bert, and right had his camera, I think, kind of thing. And yeah. then you would just do some trade, he'd film you, but then he did he did you know he's giving your footage like full in one? No, or like, that was a complete surprise. I actually. I think I was with you when I found out when I saw the video. It was like, where were I? Where? Could we have been possibly at your house? Where did Could I live? Where, where, Santa where, Monica. With Robbie McKinley, I lived with Robbie McKinley and Dirty, this, Dirty Dan. That was I don't know. That was, well, that was the way memory, but before that. What about? Because you lived with them way after Listen came out. We were out skating in, uh-huh. in Santa Monica area. Yeah, and I was with Bert. Okay, and. I think we went to go meet you. And I'm trying to think where did I live in Santa Monica? I live with I live with Robbie in two different houses. Maybe it wasn't your house then. Was it Tim Dowling's house? Maybe he it was off Tim's of main house. off of Main Street. It was like a really nice area. I don't remember. Super well, nice. Yeah. Brentwood. Bre- oh Brentwood maybe. But I feel like we all watched that video of the four one he had the four it must have been Tim's house then. It was a big, big house. <laughs> no, that was yeah, Sam's house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because Tim, uh, Tim lived in a, it was like a studio it apartment. Looked, yeah, it was kind of like, like that. The, 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 but it the, was connected to it. Was it connected to a house or something? Oh. I could be a, I could be off on this, but but I feel like. I remember him living in a pretty big house, but I didn't. Tim? I, yeah. Yeah, but remember he had, the, he had an apartment in, right off Main Street. Okay. Okay. Uh, right down the, there was a fire station and Earth Cafe, which is now Earth Cafe, is there. Oh, okay. down right there. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I'm speaking on before that then. I feel he like did because he did live in Brentwood. Closer to where you get to Malibu, almost like it's not Malibu, but you know where it's like almost about to, you're about to be. It's got, it, to, uh, to be honest, it had to have been Tim's house. Like yeah, I, yeah, I'm, 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 when you just it's said gotta that, be. That, it's, yeah, that, <laughs> it's got to be. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why I thought it was your house. That was, well, that I mean, that was a, a stopping. It was like Sam's house in Brentwood, then Tim's house over here in Santa mm-hmm. Monica, because we would skate like down towards the beach, and we would skate places from his like mm-hmm. apartment, right? Yeah, so it must have been that. And so we watched the video. We watched the four hundred one. You had no idea. I had no you were idea, in and it. the clip just came up, and I was like, "What? Uh, yeah, and, yeah." I was tripping. <laughs> I was like. How'd, that, how'd they get that? Right? That's a big deal back then, dude. Yeah, no, it was like... Four and one was... That was a big deal, oh, yeah. Huge. Yeah, yeah. Man. That's a good so, one, too, because like Jason Dill's in there in that section and everything. It's a, it's a good chaos. You said Cairo's in there, too? So, a lot of dudes. A lot of dudes. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was cool. It was definitely cool. Kelly's knowledge of four and one <laughs> it's so crazy. blows my mind. It's so I, I religiously watched that. Like, no, it... He, I mean, the man's sitting yeah. here and he said, oh, I did a nolly flip down nine. He's like, oh! Oh, that was it. That was it. I'm like, what? Issue 27. How yeah. many nolly flips downstairs at 401 have in there? And that back one's then. the one that sparked your... Back so then, so crazy. dude, it was crazy. When I watched videos back then, I studied the shit. Like, your your name would pop up, and I would like, okay, I know who JT Alt is now. And I could like, I would... You start categorizing like, oh, he's in that video, in this video. He did that there. Crazy. Now it's... Nuts! You know, then people don't even put their names on the clips anymore. Right. So it's like right. <laughs> I don't know. Who anyone, really lost. I don't know who anyone is well, anymore. <laughs> at times back then too, it was like that was the only video you had to watch for a couple months, right? Until like yeah. maybe the next one, so you like burn that tape out pretty for much. Sure. Yeah. So, so Tim got and then and then Listen came around, and um, you Tim was filming for Listen, so you knew that because mm-hmm. yeah, that's how I think for- we were skating together. Often, I wouldn't say like a no, lot, but a lot. you would come like around. Random. It was yeah. all through Bert. Bert would be like, so he's going, know, I'm going to meet He had his white Tim truck. And, and is that a, a white truck? White, white truck yeah, forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'd yeah. Take the, he'd, okay. pick, he'd pick me up in the white truck and we'd go meet you guys. You okay. Know, and, um, yeah. I just loved that in his part or when his name came up, it said Bert. It didn't say anything. It didn't else. say his last name. I don't think it said his last name. Oh, in listen. Yeah, it just said Bert. It just said Bert. I was like, yeah, maybe Tim didn't know how to spell it. It's got a full name. It's got a full name. Look, look, look. Oh, okay. Remember? Was he five? Oh, or? okay, okay. There's some <laughs> other video. <laughs> was it five bar? Five oh one eighty. Yeah. What did he do? Uh, I feel like he five oh one eighty. 
Oh wow! Oh, yes, yeah. there you go. Look, there's, <laughs> there's Tim right there. He put his, his he put himself in the video. So rad. Wait, what is that? That Ventura County That's Skate Street. Yep. Tony too. Damn. You Mark had to wear Jones. your pads there too. Where was this? Some roller rink. Yeah. Some demo maybe. It was an interesting when Listen came out. It was really I mean like no music, just the sounds of skating. I think it, I mean it really did make a big impact. You know, for sure. Definitely. Especially you know me starting the video off and like really <laughs> setting, setting the mood, setting the tone for the video. You know, it was crazy. Oh, here we go. There, there, we, is, there we go. There, there he we is. Go. That's the most '90s fit right there, dude. Oh, dude. Yellows T-shirt with some me. with some blue jeans, light Listen, denim. A lot of this. A lot of. I mean, go ahead. Sorry. What were you gonna say? I might have been there that day. Oh, and the nose grind stuff. Yeah. Oh, was, okay. Was, do you remember James Craig? Craig? Was was day one there that day? Dude, I don't remember, dude. Where is that? This is, is that such the, a blur? Chris was still on that day. You know what? Yeah, you know sure who actually had really good footage in this video too that kind of shined was uh, James Craig. Yeah. Mm. So you, hey, I've kept nose once the the uh, courthouse lift. Yeah, that, that was insane. Super Decided gnarly. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of people had good. Chris Swanson. Yeah. Had a great like little section in here. Like a lot of people like. Um, oh, when he tries to roll off the courthouse uh, roof. Yeah, that yeah. was him. I was <laughs> yeah. looking at. I was at the courthouse, say, looking at and trying to figure out who was trying that. It's but that's huge. Definitely who that was. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people like Crazy. shined in that video. I think it was good. It really made like people yeah. were talking after that video came out. For you know, sure. Very. It was an independent video. He just did it on his own. He probably got distribution through somebody. I, I can't. I don't know. It definitely was distributed. He's probably watching this right now, being like, "God damn it, Chris! Here's you're messing all this whole thing up." You're wrong. You're oh, wrong. here's the Chris Swanson stuff, dude. Oh, this wow. is the no off the we courthouse. Did he do heel foot grabs off the oh floor all the time? Goodness. Do you guys remember that? I don't remember. But look at this, dude. That thing is insane. Do you know huge. how many? Look at how much airtime. <laughs> are, you, are you there? I don't remember. If I was, I, feel like I was you would I, remember I, that. I went to the car. I was scared to death. Then we get smoked right here. I think this was uh, chicken. I think that <laughs> was chicken. Was oh, Robbie chicken. There? Yeah, Robbie McKinley. It was a good video, though. So, I mean, you had some shit in there, too. Mm -hmm. you, had some, uh, you didn't have a full part, right? No, you just, had just a couple, a couple, couple tricks. Things. Uh, Tim would come up and film in uh, Agora Oak Park. What was like the first, because you'd have been in 411, you've been in the Listen video. Were you, now you're starting to get like s little sponsors. Was that helping to get yeah, to, to somewhere... carve the path? Yeah, right around that time, I think um, I got started getting boards from Real. How did and that even happen? Through the skate shop connection. Okay. Yeah, su super random. I uh, I got flowed through through the shop. I got on Billabong clothing somehow. Oh. Somehow. And, okay. And then in that time, I moved to San Diego, but I was still in contact with Billabong. And I would send them like sponsor, not sponsor tapes, but like progress report tapes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Progress yeah. Report, right. like, like here, here, you know, this is what I've been up to kind of thing. Sure. And Bob Burnquist took my tape to Mickey Ray's, and that's how I got a call from. No Mickey way! Wow. Yeah, wait, really wait, wait. And I Bob? don't know Bob still to like. I'm still like. Still to this day, never met him. <laughs> oh, because he was on anti hero. I met him like in a big crowd once, but I I was like too intimidated to be like. Just so you know, thank you. And I'm like, does he even remember that kind of thing? You know. But, well, because he was on anti hero, right? He was on anti hero. So, wow, that's, that's so, pretty. That's pretty yeah, cool story. Who told you that? Who told you the story? Mickey called me and said, "Hey, I got saw your tape. Bob Bob took your tape up here." And I remember being really bummed about it because <laughs> it was like the progress report. It was, I was like, "That's not no no no. That's not my. That's not all I got." Kind of thing. Oh, like you're judging me yeah. off of this. Yeah, what yeah, this it, you like, shouldn't judge this me. This is a short amount of time, and I remember being like a little uh, like, "Damn it!" That he didn't, yeah, you know, but they were yeah, all, but they were interested though. Yeah, it still worked out somehow. So <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. Still worked out. No yeah. doubt. So you started getting flowed by them. You're still you're in San Diego now. Yeah, I'm in San Diego. So now point. you're sending progress reports up to yeah, yeah. So to, that, to real. Yeah, like, let me give you a better tape. And, okay. And, and then, then what was the point where you like? I mean, was there there a time period where you you like were just sending them stuff? And then how did you, did you? Yeah, how did you get on the team? Initially? Yeah, what, what was yeah. the time span there? They they Mickey started sending me boards, and pretty shortly after that, he invited me on a, a skate trip. Like with the anti-hero guys and, yeah. and he actually gave me a choice which was really he was like do you want bob wants you for anti-hero i think maybe i'm thinking more stereo and and real and this is all like to get flowed boards right so, okay mm -hmm. and he and i'm i was you know i was like i'm happy with whatever and he's like well but I, he had, I, you I had to kinda, choose i kind of liked you know i, I did say real because i grew up liking 
I liked all the brands. I don't want to like, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, no but we all I, identify I yeah. with certain brands yeah. more. Right, so, right. So he was like, "Cool, I'll send you boards." And 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 just... then he's like, "What do you? What trucks do you ride?" And I had like, I, I think I like had like an Indian a thund- or an Adventure on or something. He's like, "I'm gonna send you Thunders." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Cool, thanks." And and he, eliminate uh, that. Yeah, and he sent me wheels and stuff. And so then, you're getting on the whole program up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so that went on. That was that was cool. And then he um, eventually invited me on a trip. He's like, go, if you could get to L.A., and I was, in, and my mom still lived in Agora, so I'm oh, like, well, my perfect. mom was there, so this will, you know, work out. And okay. So Damian Bravo was on the team. He's like, he's going to pick you up. Wow. And then you guys just have to get to San Francisco, then we're going to go to Visalia and do all these, like, skate park, hit all these skate parks. Mm. Wow. So, so you, Damian Bravo, drove up to San Francisco. Yep. And stayed at Mickey's for a little bit, and then we went on a trip to to Visalia skate camp with like it was pretty intimidating it was like Cardiel and Julian wow and um, I feel like Tim Upson and Jason Ferris he he ended up being the team manager later on and uh, we skated transition and pools the whole time and I didn't have I I didn't grow up skating that kind of stuff and there wasn't parks like there is now so and same with Damien so we we both got like left on the drive home we're kind of like well, I guess that didn't go very well. Kind of oh. like, guess, guess I guess we're, we're, out, we're out. Yeah, we're out. Yeah. We're out. And, I, and I told my friends, I got home, I was like, how'd it go? I'm like, yeah, not. not we're not, get, not going <laughs> to hear from them ever again. Yeah, and somehow. Did you, was Damien, so Damien Bravo wasn't even on yet. Like, these were the two sponsored, uh, like, flow kids coming up to yeah, skate with yeah, them. Exactly. Oh, okay. I think he had been getting boards for a little bit longer. Okay, but right. He might have actually been on. No, or closer to being on because he had an ad shortly after that he did okay dude damien was sick i mean yeah, he is yeah. sick still yeah, but like that his a, part is a he's a good uh, skate yeah so you were style. trying to skate the pools with them and stuff like yeah, that and i think just... i tried to like just roll up and do a backside flip like it was a bank and it was, and <laughs> it yeah, was yeah i got laughed at and I'm like so what did you do from there? Like, would you just all right? I got to send more footage. Like, how did you end up? Getting I got to prove the it to these guys yeah. that I'm not, I'm not. I think Mickey just called like a couple weeks later. Like, How's it going? And I'm like, uh, good. <laughs> and he still kept sending me boards. Okay. And, and then that turned into more trips, like San Francisco trips. Sick. And them coming down, and then yeah, I don't know. Oh, that's what it was. It was shortly after. That turned into like, hey, we need footage for a deluxe video. It was a del- like mm. a, all the teams. Wow. Okay. And, and me and Damien actually shared a part. Was was this a deluxe worldwide video? Yes. Yeah. That was, that was it. it. Okay. Yeah. So ninety eight, no ninety nine, nineteen ninety nine. So you gave him footage for that. Yeah. Who filmed it? Jimmy Capel, and he actually ended up filming. Real, he was a good filmer. And oh, so, he filmed yeah. a lot of a lot of. For a lot of different pros and different companies later on, we grew up skating together since we were like twelve years old. So right. oh, he wow. kind of went. We, you know, we he filmed all my sponsor tape stuff and then stuff for four one later on and and ultimately like most of my video parts I filmed with him. Oh, that's, that's he, right. He ended that's up getting getting um getting work doing other stuff in skating too. So. You're like it's on. I'm sending stuff for a video. Yeah. Here we go. And then when when did you actually get on? Was there like a defining moment? No, no really, there wasn't, there wasn't like a. You're, okay, you're on the team. It was kind of just like I think I had an ad, and I was like, oh, I'm, I, I got, I'm not, I guess I'm on the team. The team. <laughs> Isn't yeah. that weird? That is so funny to me. Like it's just this, it's this progression, and then all of a sudden, like you have an ad. And there's, there's no like pat on the back or there's congratulations. There's no formal conversation. Okay, like we're gonna give you an ad this month. Right. You know? Yeah. Like, nothing like that. You're on the team. You're on we're the team. Go on some tours. <laughs> yeah. You know. And you're kind of dying for that conversation. You of know? course. Because like, where do I stand? But. And, you know, it's just as good. When it is what it ad, is. Ad yeah. Come yeah. Out and I think like, that's oh, one okay. one of the biggest accomplishments you could ever get on a skateboard is just being on a team that you're stoked to be on. Totally right. sure. Like be, getting an ad in a magazine, especially back then. Oh yeah. It what? Was, yeah. That's wild. Like, whoa, you're in magazines, dude. Yeah. It's now a, it's like, oh, you're, now everyone's on the internet. It doesn't matter, but because <laughs> you would think that there would be a hey, you're on. But I mean, I could also see how it's just like an evolution, though. You know, it's like, oh, we don't need to have a conversation. Like, he's getting an ad. He should know. Like, right. but then there are those things where it's like, if you're at like a demo or a, like a shop signing or something, you're like, where do I fit in here? Am yeah. I, do I need to sit at the table with these guys and sign some shit or yeah. not? Right. Maybe, what maybe, am I doing? Maybe in Mickey's or anyone else's eyes, it's like, well, I'm sending you boards. You're on. Or I don't know what the, you know, you right. don't know. What, right. But you're kind of, think, you know. 
I mean, don't listen, know. we're yeah. human. We think about so much shit. Even for no reason. For no reason. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I would think myself right off the team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not supposed to be here. I, don't I know. This is not right. This well, not Real right. was especially a hard team to get on. Like, you had to put it down. Like, I would hear stories. I would. Yeah. I, I love Mickey. And, like, I was always here. Like, you had to impress that dude fully. Like, you had to send some gnarly footage. Oh, that's a, that's this is a hard. worldwide yeah, I mean, was this all footage you were sending him? Yeah. To get on the team? Yeah. Okay, so this and is kind of what they put just together. just kind of got used. Mm. Right. I mean, dude, you're gnarly, dude. You're doing some <laughs> shit, you know? <laughs> um, you're dude, gnarly, dude. You're gnarly, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at this stuff. What, you, this is 90, 90, 99. Yeah, so. Deluxe Worldwide. There we go. Uh, Who else? Are, Nate Jones. Ooh, Nate Jones. Let's go. Nate was yeah. sick. Super dope. I love that. Good style. Tall dude. Killed it. Keegan Tim Sauter. Keegan Sauter. I don't know if I've ever seen this video. I don't know if I have either. But it's so it's rad because you know, you 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 go from this kid who's like, you know, skate shop flow, whatever, filming stuff, and then now you have a video that you're in and Nate Jones is the next person after you. Like Yeah, it's it's, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's super crazy. And but then no one really knew who Nate Jones was at this point either, right? Because all you guys are pretty he, he new. He was fairly new too. Yeah, because he kind of shined. His, his steez was always just, yeah. his part in Real <laughs> Real. He shined in that video super hard. Mm-hmm. That, that part, yeah, was awesome. first part, yeah, was really good. He does the most ridiculous backside flip down a double set in was it Marin County? Remember yeah. the four flat four? Yeah, yeah. He clears it by like f- five feet. Yeah, it's hilarious. Yeah, it's like the good, best backside flip ever. Backside flip. Yeah. Just to be in a video, you know what I mean? Like it's just it's. Man, it's it's surreal, kind of, you mm-hmm. know. To now, you're getting f- closer and closer to like your own video part, right? I mean, are you trying to film stuff? Or are they? Is there like something in the works after this video? Like, what are they? Just tours? Yeah, yeah I think shortly after it was real to real. Real to real. That was like an actual project that Mickey and and um, was it Dan Wolf? Dan Wolf. Dan Wolf. Was... Wolf. At first, it was Morford actually. Gave oh, really? Filming. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then it then it turned to Wolf started f- filming for a short short amount of time. Did you kind of just veer off on your own and film in San Diego for the most part? Mostly, we did trips to LA and they came down to San Diego a few times, but um, for the most part, it was just me and yeah. It seems like you. That, when you know, I watch your footage, it's always like the real team's over there, even though you're on the team, but you were handing your business down down south. Yeah, it, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't. You wouldn't go up yeah. north and. I would, like, yeah, you would. Quite okay. a bit, but right. um, but most of the clips I had were probably in San Diego. Yeah, just out with the crew down there. And so what it was a so real to real film that that was like a full full blown part. Yeah, that was a full part. I mean, short part, not like a crazy long part. Right, but, but uh, was, that was like a actual goal. Like we were all we would watch the clips and everyone knew that we were all filming a part. Yeah, right. and stuff, and we'd have team meetings and stuff like that so that was pretty cool because i definitely think like in a lot of your footage like you left you definitely left like an impact on like there was you know it was like gnarly footage it was good like every video part had like something in it that was like damn this kid jt is rad you know oh, like <laughs> for, no, i mean like gnarly dude like uh, i watched your foot like good god you're freaking jumping out the cutest shit that's what i'm saying Thanks, dude. You know? and you always i don't know how you did this but you always seem to do the gnarliest nose manuals like, like we'll t- I mean, we'll get to talk about the chain to bank because that's to me, it's one of the craziest manuals ever done, in my opinion. <laughs> Thanks. I don't, how, how did you even think well, of that? That was another it? video, right? Where yeah. you're like, this kid, yeah, yeah, yeah like, kick what is he doing? Manual? He's insane. Okay, this right here. That is, I don't, if anyone's ever been there, you know that spot is jacked because it is steeper than it looks, too. And this is mm-hmm. the this is the, the bank that Tom Penny just annihilated. Yeah, Tom Penny. Shut that. It's a Tom Penny bank, yeah. as far as I'm concerned. What did you get smoked at all doing that? No, you know we were going there a lot. We'd warm up there a lot. Okay. Or not. It's kind of out of the way, but everybody that we skated with at the time lived in different areas of San Diego, and you just drive so much. What there. do you mean so, warm up there? No, well, no, not there. So there oh, was okay. a manual pad <laughs> behind this TJ Maxx. It was just a normal manual pad, and we'd all skate there. Oh, okay. So then somehow someone would want to do try something, and I never really did anything but ollie into it. Okay. Because or K- nose manual, and then yeah, those well, two. Then, yeah. <laughs> I nose manualed it first, and um, then I claimed it for like a year that I was going to try that, and and uh, just bailed kick clips every time I went there. 
Wait, what? I'm sorry. I was watching the clip. What, uh, I got, I got what did you say? You nose wheelie did first or kickflip did first? No, I nose wheelie. wheelie, wheelie yeah. You nose nose wheelie did first. Okay. And, um, got you. Then you were claiming to kickflip nose wheelie. Nose yeah. Wheelie. I, okay. I, I filmed like a line and I'm like, I want to have a line come start and then I want to kickflip nose manual. You want to do it in a line? No, no, no. I oh. had a line with a regular nose manual. Oh. And then mm-hmm. my friend Shockus that filmed it, that he actually filmed that. Yeah, he was like, okay. bullshit, kind of. Right, and, uh, right, right. So you never got, you never slammed no Super i got yeah i got lucky i guess because if you because you, if you get pitched you're gonna fly past the whole bank yeah you know? yeah 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 but i just went there with was shakas and um ed dominic was shooting. look at this dude <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> look at the uh, we, we got to watch a little bit of it because it's just a, you're i mean it's gnarly stuff you love to fly down shit damn was this just like i mean everybody's got their kind of skating right like i when i first started skating i would try to ollie gaps and do little things and you know whenever was my cup of tea mm-hmm. i got focused on all the i mean look at his back 180 god damn <laughs> but you just love like what 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 what's your what thought was, process uh, to all this gnarly stuff like, like what, are you yeah, what led you to the like going was there like something you just liked to fly and like you know <laughs> no, i don't know i, I uh sorry the, it's a stupid question yeah. no, like, i'm just <laughs> trying to understand the, one of the first videos i got ever was questionable so pat duffy was the first oh, part in there right. and that was like in my head like i need to skate hand rest. that's it for sure. right. so yeah, that's so funny that was, man see that's you, where i was getting first time at. i remember thinking that i wanted to I, I trip out and i get jealous of these type of skaters that like they just commit to every trick do you go for it pretty much every single time um like i don't know if, uh, you know what i mean on the trick like yeah. a, a handrail you mean yeah yeah i try to yeah because yeah, yeah. i, I want to get it over with yeah <laughs> so, so yeah yeah or sometimes i'll if it's a big i'll be like okay i at least have to get down you yep. know certain amount 15 of st- or, or however many stairs it is so i could get to safety yeah and i'll like you know do there's a certain point you have to get to to get if you want yeah. to get out of it and uh, yeah, yeah. If it's too intimidating as a whole i'll just like break it up like if i could just get halfway mm-hmm. jump down then i could maybe get the whole way do you have any rituals before you try any of these tricks you know some I, people I like i used to i used to be real real bad well like, like, like what, ocd like, like real bad like what mm-hmm. numbers i'd roll up certain numbers i would tap things i would um I would make bets. That was my like. Oh. Oh, if I don't try it right now, okay, I owe you, bets, I owe right. everybody here hundred. And I, yeah. I didn't, you weren't good on your bets. <laughs> no. Everybody's like, ah, just JT. He's just, yeah. That's just his motivation. That's just yeah. his motivation. Yeah. 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 Don't worry, I we ain't getting paid for this at all. I think a couple times it paid. Yeah, but, when it was like low, but it would low get increments like, of, it would get like ridiculous. Like I'm like you owed like ten thousand dollars because I'd be like this time to make it even. And in my head, I'm like making even this time. You're gonna eliminate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that I owe everybody right now forty grand. So I'm gonna try to. We're gonna double or nothing lot, this. You know. But, <laughs> try to yeah, it. I had uh, a lot of rituals like that. So tapping your board, like what was the OCD? Just is it I, more superstition just, almost, or is it more? I, yeah, to clear the head. I think it's clearing the head. I always thought about it because now that like I don't skate that kind of stuff. Okay. I don't have any OCD skating anymore. It just went away. So I think it's just being scared of like what you're mm. skating, and maybe it's just getting my mind off it. But mm. I don't know. I, were you conscious of doing it while yeah. you were in the moment? You were conscious of it. Yeah. And it was kind of like, I could hide it too. So if I was with like, in my comfort zone of like, you know, Jimmy Capel and the, know, homies. the homies and, you know, Morford or someone, I, I, I would probably let it go or let it, no, I'd, it'd get worse almost. Oh, you know? why? Because I felt okay, like with them, you know. Okay. And then, but if oh, I was so with, you'd like, show it more, yeah, and it would get you would amplify it because you were comfortable with everybody there. That's what yeah. you're saying. But if I was on a session with like another person I didn't really know, especially if, if I was ever skating with somebody, it, it was non-existent because you're like feeding off somebody, you know. What? Mm. Okay. But if you're by yourself and you're trying to handle yeah, something, you need was, some type of like it, release. I to think. Get, yeah, I would roll up and I'd, you know. Like I mean, Reynolds has crazy, you know, he's got the taps, the, the wheel spins, like all that stuff. Yeah, you know? I saw that and I, yeah, I could relate to that. You could relate to yeah, it, yeah. totally. Now, you're not at home switching off the lights. No. 20, okay. No, I, it, I, it went it went away okay. pretty much. There's like certain things here and there, you know? What do you mean? Like, I don't know. I think, like going through yellow lights, I'll like knock on the window because somebody told me it was good luck. 
and that just sticks with me. Holding your breath and through I'm a like, tunnel. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it's like so you if know, it's a long tunnel, you're, you're <laughs> good luck. But, yeah. But it's you see someone with like purple face. Yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. At somebody. Yeah. I'm trying. Yeah. It's pretty much gone now. But okay. it was, it was okay. more. It was pretty much geared towards skating. In, I just I think I think OCD is like fascinating. You know, I think a lot of us have like a certain degree of OCD, just the way that we do stuff and we're programmed. Mm -hmm. But when it's extensive, I I trip. I it's I think it's interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know why people do it. I'm not. I mean, I have no business. I think there's like I don't even know. know It's crazy. It's more of like a commitment issue thing. I feel like because I would do that sometimes too. Yeah, or maybe a control thing. Yeah, I I I don't know. I think uh, I would trip. I saw a friend. he like it, he wouldn't try the trick unless he saw a silver van drive by. Shut up! Oh, You'd be waiting there for hours for a yeah. silver yeah. van. Yeah, that's, that's like he would trippy. stand there and watch. He's awesome, but like you know, uh, you know, Kristen Pierce Brunner. He would not sit and wait for a silver van. Really, I, I'm not. I'm not lying at all. He would do that, and when when he saw it, it was like it turned on, and he would commit to the trick. You know what mm. I mean? And like I would do that, not that that specific. I would just have my filmer or a buddy just buy a silver van. And just <laughs> just keep keep circling it. the block. <laughs> That's Yo, meet me at this spot at about twelve thirty. <laughs> I'm gonna do this trick. Like I wouldn't if I saw someone I didn't know at the spot watching me, I wouldn't try the trick. I'd be like, I just I don't know. There's certain weird things no, when I you're out it. skating, like yeah. you, this, I, the car thing, I get that. Not silver and, yeah, yeah. waiting for a certain color, but a red car. I'd probably wait till another car drove by. Really? Just red I don't car, know. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why. Yeah. I, but hmm. yeah, so there, I get it. There's this thing to it, but once it starts affecting you in that way, you just have to, you, you're, you can't be like, oh, it doesn't matter anymore. You're like, no, you just, you have, it takes yeah, over your it body. Turns into it also this, like routine that yeah, yeah. starts to grow. It's yeah. not very good. It depends yeah. on the situation though, because I, I feel you about skating with other people, right? Yeah. Like, Sometimes I don't want to do something if somebody else is there, but other times it didn't even matter. It depended on the spot that we were skating, depending on like who got warmed up first. If somebody, if, if I went into a situation where everybody there was warmed up and they were all killing it and I had to slowly get going, I had to like do a little fucking jumping jacks <laughs> and then 50 the ledge and well, then mess up on a t- couple kick flips, do a couple shoves. Like I would be very self-conscious when people are switch back side flipping the table yeah. and I'm trying to 50, 50, you know what I mean? Like yeah, no, those well, certain things in my thing brain are like, I'm fighting. I'm know? not talking about like other skaters being there. I'm talking about personally, like if there's some rant, like a p- random pedestrian and they're standing there watching me, I just, I'm just like, yo, I, I, like well, you're waiting for nothing, so I'm not gonna try anything. And it's in your vision at that point. Exactly. So if you right, see something in my vision while I'm trying a trick, I just won't try it. Mm. Yeah, I guess everybody yeah. has their own little madness type things. You yeah, know? sure. Hmm. Yeah. How'd you do skating in China? Because they form like they form. It's yeah, like that, a big spectacle out I there. I mean, they're yeah, they're all angles they're covering. Yeah, yeah I mean, I it's just, like a best trick contest out there. I was like, but they don't even know what they're they don't know what they're even looking at either. Right. You know, you land the trick, but they don't even say anything. Right. So it's kind of funny. I don't know. Still so new. So that went away because you, when you stopped doing those big tricks, yeah. why why did you stop doing? Were you here's a, here's a question. <laughs> no, but here's a question. When you when you're that type of skater, how, injuries. Mm-hmm. How was that? Where it was injuries? Were you plagued by injuries? Were you not? Like how was that? I didn't think I was plagued by injuries, but looking mm. back, I've had a lot of injuries. So looking guess, back, yeah, I guess I was I I, I get you know. I remember thinking like, oh, I'm pretty, I've gotten away with a lot of stuff, but I, pr- I have a pretty big resume of injuries at what this was point. The, what so was the worst? My head injury. I hit my head and was in, was in a coma for three days. That was the oh, worst as far what? as like danger, you know? Um, you were in a coma for three days after hitting your yeah, head. Two or three days. What happened? I was on a trip to, in um, Las Vegas. Okay. On an Osiris trip. And I was skating a, like a triple kink rail mm. with, with Corey Duffel and uh and I stuck on the rail and I should have known well I, st- I stuck on a front side rail side okay and got pitched back and I, I think I tried to like you know make sure I didn't sack the rail and right. jump extra far away oh. right, 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 right. instead of jumping to my feet I jumped backwards oh. so, and Corey when we were warming up he's like get my back on a board side and he stuck on the board side he's like I'm not skating this rail it's sticky so he almost is like a warning you know hmm. I'm like yeah, no, I'm I got it. It's okay. 
He was oh. doing a backboard or a frontboard? Backboard. So he was doing backboard and us. you were... We were both skating that side because we were both okay. going to skate the rail. So you both we were, were doing backboards. Start, start with the board side. Okay. And so, he okay. stuck on one because it was kind of like a little wobbly, you know? Huh. And he's like, I'm done. I'm not... This, this and you still tried it. Yeah. And I was, I just... I didn't stick on it. So I was like, I, I, I don't know. I and like, so you hit your head, got you uh, yeah. uh, unconscious. Unconscious for a second. All I remember is get everyone over me kind of you know mm-hmm. and um and it was at a church and the one of the guys there was like kicking us out and oh, he was like wow. are you on drugs and i was on the ground i'm like i'm not oh. on drugs because so i probably looked crazy yeah enough. yeah yeah and he's like he's on drugs and i'm like everyone's like he's not on. he just you know hit his head his head and i don't remember anything but after that but i i, I, I got like airlifted out of there so oh no way big. you got airlifted wow. out yeah. of there that's scary dude yeah. Yeah, and then I, I just remember. So it was a medically induced coma. Oh yeah, because it was swelling. So it wasn't like I got knocked. It, it, it was medically induced. Yeah. What's that like? Do you remember anything? Are you? Do you just wake back up as if you took a like you you went to bed for the night? I mean, what yeah. do you remember? Anything? Any conversations that are going on? I mean, three days is a long time. No, I remember. This is trippy. I remember though. Like, I have like just little like flashes of, or yeah. something okay and i remember getting wheeled to a to, for a cat scan and there was two doctors and i heard one of them go i heard one of them say like oh yeah he's a goner and i was like oh. i looked at him and he was like tripping that i looked at him like like i th- i don't think he expected me to hear him oh yeah. my and i was like what what do you mean i'm a goner <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. no way. and then i don't remember anything but that or until i woke up and it was like it was like my family and Jim Thebo was there. And wow. I was like, okay, this is pretty bad probably if like everybody's here. You know? Mm-hmm. Oh, like you're still not aware of what's actually I going on. I didn't know on. how yeah. bad or what. Yeah. 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 It's uh, pretty. So that was probably the worst. But Dude. How, how much longer did. So you healed up, but like, did you just take a break from skating for a while? I did, but probably not as long as I should have, like in hindsight. I, yeah. I remember like being a little insecure and like, you know, because I, I felt like. Did that make you not want to try like stuff like that again? No, I actually, I, I wanted to try to do something big because I was still, I was, cause I was like, I, f- I remember feeling like people were like, oh, you're, like, I don't know, just f- like talking like I was like, oh, like couldn't this, ever skate you, you or couldn't get past that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, I yeah. remember being a little bit like too eager, maybe I, I, oh, you wanted to show everyone like, no, I'm, I'm going to do this. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I remember like going to a spot, this, this like big rail in San Diego that goes like right into a hill. And I know slid this hand. Oh up. yeah, okay. And that was like the first thing I got. I remember we were really happy about it, but but like in hindsight, like looking back now, it was it was probably too soon. You know, I probably shouldn't. <laughs> Why though? Just because just, because, just the, like, the brain, the yeah. the skull. I mean, you fractured your skull, right? And like yep. they had to like do the whole thing. So how how quickly did you get back on the board though? When was this nose slide? Oh, after this the... was probably six months. I was I was I was out for. So a So you while. probably should have waited a year, maybe. I would, yeah, I would. Or at least like, or maybe built up to it. I didn't really build up to it. You I just went, went straight back out I, I there and a little bit of stuff. And then I just was like, I wanted to do this before. So let's, let's go get it. And it worked out. But, but like, that's what I mean about like, probably should have eased into it a little bit more, but maybe it, would, it was better to get over the fear. So just I don't think of it. Get back on the know, horse. Right. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just thinking, I'm sitting here that that's, that's gnarly to think about just, you know, hitting your head being, cause we hear, you know, skaters, we don't, nobody wears helmets, you know, it's, they're, yeah. it's few and far between. And, um, you see a lot of skaters now like P-Rod and everybody when they're skating the stairs, they have this where they put their hand on the back of their head. You seen that now? Uh-uh, but that's a good idea. A lot of them bail and they, they, they start to put their hand, but you know, how much was that going to soften a blow? No, you know, no, I, I don't know. How quickly can you get your hand back probably there? Not quick enough. It's, yeah, it's, it's dangerous. I mean, but they're trying to now incorporate that. And you've seen it all, right? Oh, uh, no, he's been that forever. Yeah, yeah they're yeah, like sure. trying to like, <clears throat> but you see other people doing it now too. It's like putting yeah. their hand back there. But that's scary, dude. Yeah, yeah. You're also like, you want to get back on the board. What's well, like every you're, skater, you're, you get hurt. Weirdly enough, yeah, you're in pain, but all you want to do is skate again. That's all you think about. But also thinking yeah. about like your sponsors too, right? Like a little bit, you're not yeah. skating yeah. for six months. Like do they, yeah, you may be talking to them, but are they, yeah, you're thinking like, am I going to get kicked off? Yeah. Is that, yeah, that's, that's in well, your head a little bit, you know? Sure. The, luckily for, I mean, 
all I would say all of us. I've gone through a lot of injuries. My sponsors have fully just been like, "Cool, you're out for a while. Like, just heal up. Oh, long, as long as yeah. you try to heal up, that's all they care about, right?" Totally. And and that I've never <clears> had like any sponsors like with deluxe or any anything. Like, never pressure on yeah, any yeah. kind of. It's like more pressure all. on yourself that you're like, I just it's want all, to get back. Yeah, it's all, it's all, it's all in your head for yeah. sure. Yeah. Did you, what other injuries did you have? Is it like any like the head one was more dangerous and scary? Yeah. But the I broke my leg and my nose and teeth at the same time. Oh, what? <laughs> broke your leg, your nose, and your teeth. Yeah, that was probably the worst. Like as far what, as what did like, you do? What were you trying? I was trying to that one. That one still bugs me because you know they have like the one that got away. Kind <laughs> okay. Of thing. Okay. Oh. I I was trying to three sixty foot nose slide clipper. And Tray I had, flip nose slide, okay. Mm-hmm. And I'd stuck it a bunch and been there like eight times. And then I went on a trip for like three weeks. And every demo we went to, I did it on every hubba. And so like the time I got hurt was the time I was most prepared. Oh. <laughs> and I slipped out. I don't know what happened. I, I, I think I got in funny and tried to put my leg forward. And I think my leg broke. And I went to my face and <sighs> broke my nose. And my teeth were knocked out. And I was like, I remember looking up and being like, like, Ah, oh, crap, I broke, I looked at Gabe because Morford was shooting photos and uh, I was like, I broke my, I broke my nose again and I was all pissed because I had to broke my nose before <laughs> and I was like, and I knocked the same teeth out because I knocked these teeth out as well already before. Okay. So I was like, and I knocked my teeth out and Gabe was just looking at me like, that's, that's not, not the worst of yeah. your problems, man. <laughs> and I was felt a little tingly and I looked down and I was like, ah, oh, crap. I, <laughs> too. So that was injury. Talk about injury sucks. You know, and I, I mean, just game. sitting here listening yeah. to it, I'm like, I get, yeah, it's my body. Oh, yeah, I, I mean, feel it now. God <laughs> damn. What's this horrible, horrible, like oh. you're, you're prepared so well for this one trick. You're like, I've been practicing and then it just all goes yeah, wrong. Yeah. And like the, the times I came close, I wasn't at, like, I maybe had no business trying then, <laughs> but then I got better at it and yeah. I was like, okay, now it's. I'm and that would have been a monument. I mean, you've, you've done a lot of monumental tricks, to be honest, but like that, you that would have been up there, especially back then. Who did it? Yeah. Who, who ended Tommy up doing Finn. it? Tommy Finn. Yeah. Eventually. Tommy Finn. Nice. Yeah. Would you not? You didn't want to go back and do no, it. No, I was stoked to see someone do it. I was like, I'm you not going to go. Finally, I can put yeah. this to rep. Because I, it probably still would have bugged you to, even after the leg break and everything, you were probably would have wanted to still do it right yeah I, yeah or were you yeah. over it by that point no i think i thought i was going to go back for a second and then i just moved on mm. and i just didn't really i wonder if tommy know. finn knew that you broke your leg trying that oh no probably not it was years later wait so, I, yeah when was this that you tried it before um oh uh, since day one since day one like yeah. uh, like well before that's that. so like a, a year before that probably okay so i think tommy did it he did it way later. Way later. So I don't think he knew. Like, it wasn't like that. So, like, since Dave, well, that was like 2011, right? I don't know. Yeah. Something <laughs> like that, something like that. So he did it later on. You've yeah. done a few tricks on that. I always, the one that stands out to me is you, you did the Ollie over the nose blunt. Yeah. That's and I was like, right, you were the first right. one that I had seen really doing that trick. I was just I, like, how did I you? I feel like Daywan did them at the, or maybe some version of. Uh, there it is. Play, yeah, like the uh, Venice. Yeah. Those, those just, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Willie Santos used to do half cabs into them. Yeah. But like not down hubbas though. Mm-mm. No, not, but on ledges. I would that, see half cabs. That's where I like, got the idea was from Willie Santos because he did them half cab in. Yeah. Like yeah. on a double sided ledge type style. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that easy to do? The uh, no side on the uh, other side of um, the nose blunt? Kind yeah, that one kind of always did come e- a little bit easier hmm. than others. Well, it's just it's just different. You never saw that back then. And you did another one, the one down in San Diego, the back or it's like a front nose, but it's like a back nose oh, yeah, one, like the other way, yeah, the front <clears> side. <throat> yeah, he did this this trick, but the other way. Wait, did Darrell do his stuff after this? Yeah, Darrell did the most amazing At, stuff. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. I got to see a lot of that stuff. You got to sell it. Yeah, that was that was that's rad. Pretty cool. Well, yeah. you, you, were you there when you did the the front the ollie over to front blood? Yeah, he wow. did it like four times. What? He, he did going, it four yeah, times. Yeah, he kept going like, oh, I didn't get enough over. I'm like, I think you did just fine. Like a little booger? Yeah. <laughs> like a little, he, he had like a little like booger? That. Yeah, he thought so, but it wasn't. Well, that ledge is so, I mean, it's pretty wide. So like it's oh, pretty it's gnarly right to ollie yeah, over yeah, to totally. land. Yeah, that's crazy. He did that four times. Was yours before? It, like... I mean, yeah. it is kind of that. That was years later. That was the back. Or yeah. yours was no his, his oh, was okay. later. That was kind of. I feel like I right mean, let's just say, to reel, like it, it. It is kind of like a. It is kind of booger, but at the same time, like <laughs> nobody, you know, like you can't. 
Nobody was doing that shit on anything. No, I mean. It's like power slide down it. Yeah, that's crazy. I remember after he did that, I like tried it on a ledge. I couldn't even get into it. Back oh, to Tori. Yeah. What, what else did you do on? Did you do anything else on Clipper? Um, Nolly Crooked Grind. Nolly Crook, that's right. That was weird. I always tripped on crooked grinds on that spot. It was beveled, right? It was super beveled. Yeah. And I was like, damn, that's... Yeah. I never skated that thing. It was pretty like, perfect. It's pretty good, right? Yeah. I ended up doing that same trick in a contest later on. They did like one of those uh, Thrasher Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thrasher yeah. 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 And I went up and I didn't know what to do. So I just <laughs> I did, did the, the same trick. The same trick that I already <laughs> done. But uh, that was trippy because Phelps was like on this loudspeaker. was like... I, Probably not shortly. It was a good while after the brain, the head injury. Uh-huh. But as I was warming up to 50-50, he was like, brain surgery. As, and I'm like, <laughs> nah, dude. Because yeah. I had already broken my leg at that spot, too. So oh. I'm like, come on, Jake. But that's, that's how he was, you know. That's how, totally, yeah. totally. But you, but you did land it at the contest. I did, yeah. 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 I, yeah. So good. They they give out money in that, uh, or is it, what is that? They did. They give out money for certain tricks, but I didn't see the list. I, the list was right above the Oh, that's the right. Thing. Yeah. And there was some tr- like doable tricks, but I was like, I'm just going to grind. I was I did a couple 50-50s and a nose slide, and I'm like, I'm just going to do the nose blunt because that's all I knew. But like back lip was on there. No one did it. And I was like, why did I could have gotten some money if I yeah. <laughs> if I solved the thing? But Because yeah. it was like homage paying homage yeah, to tricks like that have already been that, done exactly. it was like a and then challenge. also yeah. new tricks that yeah. people were doing I too think, right? yeah shane o'neill might have big spin back big spin back that tail yeah. oh yeah hey because the back lip is right behind you over there the uh oh, yeah, there Kirchard. what do you when when was that hub of red i don't i don't remember that i heard they painted it for the cover I oh, heard they, oh i heard that i don't that's I don't know that would make sense because we were i looked at it the other day i was like I wonder if they actually did that on purpose. Like the skaters did it. Can you imagine I, though? That's what I heard. You're you're yeah, a school official and you come back Monday <laughs> morning and you're red, like, you're like, who the what? fuck painted our hub of red? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then you painted, they probably that. painted back. <laughs> what is going on yeah, here? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a freshly painted like. It's, like, wall. it's nice that yeah, they yeah, painted yeah, it, yeah. but it's red. Like it's not even our school colors. <laughs> I was just about to say that. <laughs> it's like the rivals. <laughs> <line over. laughs> we're, we're the Spartans. We're not the Bulldogs. Oh funny. man, that's good. What was the like? What was it? Because I know you're still in the industry, right? You you work for uh, Bareback, mm-hmm. right? Doing uh, board BBS. manufacturing. Mm-hmm. Excuse nice. me, what was it? Uh, B- B- BBS. 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 It was no, they're not called it was, B- not anymore. Oh, it's yeah, ba- it was, oh. same. Same. So my, uh, I, I know everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so BBS uh, board manufacturing and stuff, which I want to get into because I think I, uh, that's fascinating to mm. me too, is uh, the other side of the industry. But what was the what what kind of led you out of the pro skating ranks and doing all that stuff for a living. Um, Cause you still skate obviously. Right. I mean, we're yeah. not, we're not done skating, no, you know? No, yeah. Skating, but, uh, but just the, you know, getting out of that yeah, whole thing. I, it just kind of happened naturally. Really? I, I got really lucky. You know, okay. I, I, uh, I, I, Jim, Jim Thibault was talking to someone at, at BBS mm. and maybe Adam or Grant. Um, and he called me and he was like, Hey, they're like BBS is right. They're they're right down the street from my house too. So right, okay. And he's like, and I think Jim knew. I can, you know, I'm older and I'm, you know. Was there talks of it, or like no, maybe, or no, just like were, were you slowing down in the producing stuff? Yeah, I was. I, okay. I, I, I definitely like my body was, you know, mm, yeah, not the same, right? Right. So, so and and I had expressed that to Jim a little bit, you know. But um, Jim called and was like, hey these guys are looking for help and he was really like i'm not trying to say like Dude, he's the he, best yeah, bro. He, yeah he's, the he's best. looking was, he's he's looking yeah, he's genuinely was, looking it was out. awesome you know he yeah the, for him to go out of his way to make that call mm-hmm. and just even if it wasn't he was calling for a different reason and then happened and then he, you came to mind like it just that's a beautiful and thing for him bro. to even feel bad about like yeah he's like D- don't take this the wrong way i'm like no 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 i'm not taking this yeah. the wrong way I, yeah I'm, what what thank position you. Yeah, what thank was, you for thinking <laughs> you know and yeah he was he was you know if you know, if you if you want it, I'm just throwing it out there. But if not, let's just like let's go film another part in five more years. Fuck it, like let's do right. it. I'm like, yeah, I was like, I'm gonna go out and talk to these guys. You know. Yeah. So what was the initial like position over there, at BBS? It was for development. Um, okay. Well, originally they told me it was like 
development slash help with social media, mm. which I'm like really bad at. So <laughs> I, 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 was, I was like, yeah, I'm not, I, I'll, I'll try. Okay. But I f- realized later on that it wasn't really for that. It was more for, for um, development. And when you say development, what, what, what kind of development is there in board manufacturing nowadays? Shape development, new shapes, okay. um, new, new um, mold stuff and, mm. and, yeah, other projects. So you like interning kind of right at first, like getting the hold of things, or yeah, no, it was it was a you know an offer for it wasn't an intern, but it was definitely like we'll see how it goes, kind of. Um, well, because you got to learn what totally th- that uh, must have been a wild oh ride. My gosh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was intimidating. Um, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. So someone's showing you around how this process works and stuff like that. Yeah, so I I got. I, I went and spoke and I, I was a horrible interview. I, I was like, <laughs> they're like, what have you done, you know, for work? And I'm like, I worked at a pizza place once and, you know, helped build chairs once. And, and they're like, okay. And it was just like, I, I was like, I, I, I'm shocked that I got a call back. Actually. You're like, I kick flip nose wheelie <laughs> yeah, down the exactly. thing at the Tom Penny spot. Yeah. I don't know if you saw that. All over nose blunt clipper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I did a few. Th- I've had a few things. Yeah, that's well, my that's they, my job description right there. That'd but be, that'd be a dope. It's role. important for them to hire someone that knows skateboarding, right? So it's like they're not looking at like. Yeah, I think that, that that's why they gave me a chance. You know, yeah, well, was, especially for really, development as for well, sure. like making shapes and stuff. They're not just going to put some dude off the street, you know, in that in that mm-hmm. position too. With a suit on, like, yeah, <laughs> it's not going to work. Mm-hmm. This is a little thing the BBS manufacturing uh, on yeah, the Instagram did a. Uh, what is this little day in the life thing or something? Oh, I'm in there. There you are. You made that. it, dude. <laughs> <You> <laughs> made it. Well, that's why we brought this up. Cause, uh, I wonder what I was doing there. I mean, this is a whole operation down there, dude. Damn. Dude, I went there one time, and I don't think I had met you at this point, Look, but I went there. I was like, I wonder what that. I don't... Who's that dude chilling right there, dude? I can't rewind it. Kick up nose, man. There you <laughs> go. Hey. <laughs> Skate in the loading dock. Uh, love it that's funny yeah but that it, like going in there is wild dude i mean you guys have like two different offices or yeah we have a we have a san marcos location where we ship everything from but everything's made in mexico so in tijuana so why is everything made there and then shipped we're we're what you call the maquiladora so we have to ship everything out of america we can't ship from mexico okay. it's, it's like um it's it's like an agreement with NAFTA and all that. And, um, and there's like a, a trade deal, basically. It's, a, it's a, like a, a trade thing. Yeah. So that's that's what the San Marcos location's for. Wow. for. And you go to both of them? I go to Mexico only. So I'm, I'm in Tijuana uh, five days a week. You speak like, Spanish? Yeah, but not, not very. Yeah, <laughs> I've been better, but man, it's, that's, that's a whole different yeah. challenge that's been been um, an ongoing thing. For oh, okay. So how's that commute going back and forth? Is it mellow? It's, yeah, it's, it, no, well, it's long. It, right. It's about an hour getting there in the morning. I leave pretty early, so I don't mm. hit traffic. And okay. There's no real border weight going down. Mm. Unless you go a little bit later, it could get bad. Mm. But coming back, I hit Tijuana traffic, and then I hit border traffic. I have a Sentry, so it's a faster line like to get Like a fast through. track? Yeah. Mm. But um, that could be, I don't know, a bad day, 30, 40 minutes, but on a normal day, it's 10. Okay. And then I hit some San Diego traffic, so it's like two and a half hours back home. Okay, so it's it's pretty far, but but I'm pretty used to it. And right. with skating, you're already used to driving all, all over the place. Totally. So. Yeah. I mean, you could throw on a podcast or something. You know? I yeah. do. Yeah, yeah. Listen, <laughs> guys, all, every Monday. He's listening to us right now. Yeah, so he's yeah. driving out there. What's up, JT? How you doing, brother? What's Hope you're having there? a good trip, man. Hope you're not hitting that that, that traffic yet. <laughs> um, wow. So. Driving down there, and then you just do they give you weird looks like here's this guy keep going back and forth, uh, maybe he's tra- trafficking something or no, whatever. Every now and then, you get some you get pulled aside or something, yeah, like secondary or some uh, guy okay. kind of like busting your balls. But but there's a lot of people, there's a lot of uh, commuters, that, yeah, go back and forth okay. for business, so it's it's pretty common. Huh. How, how far into Tijuana is it? Is it like right past the border or is it's it 20 minutes? Oh, okay, past, so like it's almost to Rosarito, mm. so nice. Not, not like you could skate there, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's, well, it's a little bit in, but not too far. Not oh, too far. Do you ever feel like I'm just? Does it? Do you feel sketchy at all going down there? Because I would always hear stories as yeah. a kid. You'd hear that stuff, right? Oh, mm-hmm. Federalists, yeah, and stuff. all that stuff. And you're like, okay, I've been there a few times, and I had a great time. But like, yeah, no, no I feel okay. I feel comfortable down there. Um, yeah, 
Um, well, you're going there not to party. You're going there yeah, for exactly. business. Yeah. You have your commute. You're not yeah. going to the bars. Like going to senior to frogs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I feel okay. I, you know, um, it's there's certain certainly dangerous parts of Tijuana, so it's, sure. you know something you got to yeah. be aware of. But you've been but, doing it for years. So yeah, you're I've been good. Going on seven years. Look, so. Ra- Ra- Raj was he was eyeballing this BBS shadow box. Dude, this is amazing. Look at it in the background. Yeah, look at this. We could put. Yeah. Oh, God. can we get one too? Yes. Three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, Dude, eight, nine, get, ten, eleven, twelve. I, there, can we get fifteen of these things. <laughs> yeah. They're five hundred and fifteen yes. bucks a, pay, a pop. Wow! So, do you guys, you guys actually make those with the like? We do, yeah. It's wood like a from side, the, little side side thing we do. Is um, it the wood from the skateboards? Yeah, it's the same. Same, same thing. Hard, cool, hard maple, actually. That's mm-hmm. really dope, dude. Yeah, it is. Because look, you could just put the board on there, Raj. You don't even have to. That yeah, looks great. Shoelace it anymore. It's yeah, funny. It's you know what's dark. funny is like. We get a fair amount of people asking us how we hang the boards up on the wall, and it's literally just a shoelace and a, and a nail. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's a shoelace and a nail. Mm-hmm. Like, there's nothing fancy. People do send us like board hanger mm-hmm. stuff sometimes, but the mo- the freak the frequency of us switching the boards out, it doesn't make sense for us to like screw something in mm-hmm. and do like we need a quick change. We need and to be able perfect. to just pick it up and put a new one on. I'm gonna send you guys some of these. We need fifteen easy. of them. Just... We need like <laughs> we need a I, lot. Bro. I would love one for my my place, dude. Cool. I, this is real. but can you do it sideways too? Or is it only up and down? It looks like it's only, it's up, and only down. up and down. But we're we've talked about adjusting it to make it. Yeah, just because obviously the hor- horizontal yep. graphics. I'm like, look, you need an orange. It's fairly one. new too. So you would oh, just add just another new. one of those little metal things on the bottom, right? I guess red would be the closest color to do a sideways do one? orange to do a sideways one or is mm-hmm. that we would just have to include both yeah both of them, right which we should yeah thank you but. for that we'd love we'd love mm-hmm. some of those I'm still should together. i put it in the yeah. should i put 15 of them in the card right now? <laughs> <laughs> just give us a code, we'll a code. <laughs> you got a discount code <laughs> nine club nine, to check nine, out yeah. 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 nine club uh, that's it. cool though uh, Raj you, that's a good I mean that would look great up here yeah it would yeah. look really really, really cool I mm-hmm. mean if you can't if we can't get a bunch of them maybe just four of them just for right here yeah, yeah. yeah. Just just a, a little just light behind it too yeah. Like them. that's cool Ooh. Right. yeah put a, some little LEDs in there Raj is there different colors you can get yep oh yep, dope blues looks like we got black green I love that oh it didn't change color you said this is new thing you guys have started doing yeah within the last like Six or eight months, we oh, cool. we, nice. we started talking about doing. Well, there's a lot of people that want to display projects. their board yeah. collection That's and kind stuff. Of where and the conversa- there's been a lot of wall, like specific wall hanger boards that we make, and right. like, we're still running shoelaces too. Mm-hmm. So we're like, there's, you know, we could love it. You know, I, I, I use fishing so. wire. I fishing use, yeah. wire is good too. Yeah, just yeah. so you can't see yeah. the lace in it. It, it helps just it out looks like bit. it's floating. Yeah, yeah. We do angle them though from the so because the studio lights mm-hmm. shine uh, on them. So Raj puts a piece of cardboard behind it. Yeah. I mean, we're not anything. <laughs> we're not anything special over here, guys. We we we're pretty. Uh, this whole place is held together by duct tape, pretty much. That and like matches, match covers, or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, We've got all kinds yeah. of weird shit. You know, it works though. It works. Yeah. Uh, but that's cool. So go getting back to it. So product development, all this stuff. Um, <laughs> How do you like it? Do you enjoy the whole process of? I mean, you're still in the skate industry, which is mm-hmm. phenomenal. We, I think, that's what our we all. But transitioning from skater, pro skater, to a biz like a nine to five, mm-hmm. essentially. Yeah, I, I love it. I, I got really lucky, like I was saying, because of just how cool. Like just Jim thinking of me, and then those guys taking a chance on me mm-hmm. at, at BBS. Like, um, and then going into a situation there where it was like those dudes work so hard and the priority is like you know making the best skateboards that we could possibly make right and, and going into that environment was like really easy because it was like okay sink or swim a little scary you know mm-hmm. but at the same time like everybody is is on the same page and everybody's like i love that you know trying to to think of better ways to make everything yeah what, is, sure. what exactly do you do then so you go in there you're making shapes but like how how do you use the machine in general, but how do you make shapes? Like where, where does it, this it, process start from? It depends. Sometimes people send a skateboard and we'll, we'll trace the skateboard mm-hmm. and, and uh, trace it by hand. If, it's a, if you give me an actual board, you'll, it starts with a tracing and then that goes into Illustrator. Oh, okay. It goes into like um, Mastercam. It's like a CAD program okay. that uh, 
that'll end up in for like CNC programming. So, the, so it goes in like basically like a computer thing, mm-hmm. and then does the machine just kind of replicate that? Does it cost a lot to do a mold and stuff like that? Molds are yeah, because there's a lot more work with the mold if you if you don't use an existing mold, because we need the mold itself and then we need receivers for the machine so there's four receivers because we press boards up four at a time okay and each each board we press up has its own receiver because each board relaxes a little bit differently so so it's every board's a little bit different we have to program the machine a little bit different so that it cuts yeah it's funny because you, you'd always hear like oh yeah you don't want the boards on or the bottom. on the bottom which one was i can't remember the bottoms relax more so a lot of people like you like the, I, I like the, the mellow. Yeah, one. the mellow one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you would like the bottom one. Yeah, like okay. Rod okay. was on the show, Paul Rodriguez, and he was like, "I only skate the fourth one down from the certain mold." Mm-hmm. Like it was insane the way that he had actually chosen the board that is perfect for him every single time. Yeah. It was something yeah. like that. Don't yeah, quote yeah, me. Yeah, it was yeah, just yeah. Yeah. something to that effect. Yeah, most of the time, people like, if if people have a preference, it's usually the bottom. The Interesting. One, but if it's that's mm, the opposite for me. I, I like steeper mm. concaves, so. and I would feel like the top ones would be crispier too because they're not, they haven't been flattened out so oh, much right right oh that they still have that i don't know if it's it would be <clears throat> it would be crispier um because it, it would still the glue is still the glue joints should still be just as strong it, it's more about the the bottom one relaxing and in, in uh and when you when you split the veneers apart it relaxes a little more so I don't think you would get like an advantage out uh, of pop if that's. I mean, let's let's keep my little <laughs> dream alive, you know. So are you de- you're making newer shapes? Is that what you're basically in charge of? Shape development is is a big part. Okay. Part of part of what I do, and then we we do uh, wheel manufacturing there too. So that's that's kind of turned into my job. So what you're saying mm-hmm. is like when you're talking about shape stuff, you have a company that is making boards with you and they mm-hmm. want to create these new shapes. They say, Hey, we want to do a shape. This writer wants whatever. Now are you wor- You're in charge of getting what they want. Is that pretty much the deal? Yeah. So it, sometimes like I was saying, it'll be an actual physical shape. Okay. And you're just and duplicating, and that. duplicating that. But yeah. also there's or, from shapes from scratch, right? There's sometimes like I want this reference points, you know, mm. like I want to, you know, th- I'm looking for this kind of mold and I'm looking for this, this, you know, mm-hmm. this tail, this dimensions. You Got know, you. Okay. And I'll kind of go back and forth with what. Until it's right. Until it's right. And then sometimes there's, there's impasses where you just need to work on a new mold, but mm-hmm. it's a little bit more, a lot more of a commitment. Have you talked to uh, yeah. professor Schmidt? I haven't, I've never met Bro. him. Bro. You guys could, uh, would have a <laughs> fabulous conversation, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like that dude is he, crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard him on, on. Breaks it down. Yeah. yeah. Isn't I've, that get crazy though? Cause I've skateboarders seen, are like, very specific on things is it like do you go back and forth a bunch with, with do you work with certain skaters on mm-hmm. on shapes yeah and do they trip they're like no I, it's one centimeter off or whatever yeah there's yeah. certain guys that are, are more than others that are like sometimes yeah. it's like an unmeasurable amount but mm-hmm. you know, i just honor it because i'm like you understand the process head, and yeah, exactly. yeah yeah but sometimes it's like that's the difference of of sanding and so there's some some of the changes that that's you right for. that's right but and yeah. that's a huge difference too i mean we went and made boards with me and roger we went and made boards with professor schmidt and uh it's insane the how quickly he can make a shape he took an mm-hmm. old girl shape mike carroll girl shape mm-hmm. 90s edition and made a board a twin paddle board for me mm-hmm. But he did it so quick. Yeah. I was yeah. blown away. Yeah. If you guys, How I, mean, fast? I know it's far. I mean, but... we're talking, what was it, Raj? He made my board in what, 25 minutes? Yeah, it was pretty fast. From start to finish. Yeah. Wow. From tracing it out, to getting the whole thing, he did half, did the other half, traced it out, did, did the, made a template, did the mm-hmm. whole thing, 25 Amazing. minutes. Amazing. We were ready to go, Dubs. He started making another board. Yeah, love we were it. like, dude, we got to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how passionate he is, though. Yeah. He just he wants to make stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. How I, fast is it? I think that's rad. How, yeah, it's yeah. How, sorry, how fast does it take usually to make a board? Or like a set of, like, you say you put four in the press. How long does that process well, take? We have presses pre-pressed like that of, of common molds, right? So we have an inventory. So if you wanted to, uh, to work on a shape like that, we could, same kind of thing within... Within 20 minutes, probably make a program if it's right. if it's if there's no tracing involved, mm-hmm, if it's mm-hmm. all you know verbal and and we have reference points, we can make a program pretty quick. And I'm sorry, did you say you trace by hand or you got a machine that traces? We trace by hand. Okay. If it's a if it's a duplication, okay. and then we go and pull it into 
oh. we pull in the Photoshop to line it up and then Illustrator to make the, the trace to pull it into CAD to make the program. So what That's about fascinating. I love it. Yeah, really colors nice. and like the veneers and the wood, does that have anything to do with how the board feels? No, I've heard people because like, like, <laughs> people ask like think that you know certain colors are are stronger. I swear it, by it. I swear yeah. to God. I don't, yeah, I think we asked Schmidt this too, and yeah. I think he. He's like, no. I don't yeah, remember I don't, what he said. I don't think there's any science to it. If anything, maybe, maybe it's all in our heads. If, if Dude, anything, I'm thinking that. Wait, what did he say? What did you say? I think he did. I, think I it, would I'm, think that if anything, I don't remember. You, I don't the, the dyed veneers could be more brittle, but that's just in my head because you're you're altering the wood. Oh, but, I see what you're saying. But I don't think, yeah, I don't think there's any evidence to show that there would be any But a advantage. different color dye. But you're saying that if there wasn't any dye in it, it could be possibly stronger. I, like, would, I, I, don't think I don't think noticeably. Okay, but okay, I, yeah, I would yeah. think that, that an all natural would probably be the strongest. Right. Uh, I can know. see how the dye would break it down to some degree, right? Probably an unmeasurable. Different right. pigments. Exactly. Right. Yeah. right. Thing and the, but I like at the end of the day, I think whatever you know, whatever you believe yeah, helps the, tremendously. Yes, yes. That, that if is, you that. think that a yellow top veneer is the mm -hmm. end all be all, most crispiest veneer out there possible, well, God bless you. Keep going with that, you know, because it's you need that. Yeah, you know, you yeah. can't have somebody come in and well, be like, "No, you're totally wrong." No, especially if it's working. Yeah, bro, I'm getting clips every day. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. What you're talking about, bro? Mental, you know, so. exactly. I love yellow tops, man. Yellow tops and pink tops. I like yellow tops too. Yeah. Normally, people don't like them. Yeah, it's, I yeah, bet it's, it feels video. crispy, dude. I think it makes your board look wider, and you could, you could, you notice so you can see it. Yeah, yeah like you could that. skate a smaller board. So you could get it to function a little bit better, but you still have that control in your in yeah your, like yeah. illusion of it being a little bit wider for sure. I purple think. or blue? <laughs> That's your favorite. Hell yeah! I'm Wait, purple uh, and green. The dark green. Mm -hmm. The dark, but the darker colors, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can people request like, hey, I want all blues? People do, yeah. Like, how many yeah. different colors do you guys have? A lot. Have like, you done like a camo top? <laughs> <laughs> God, no, we no, we've done split split mm. dyed veneers and mm -hmm. stuff like that, but. But uh, no, never camo. That'd be hard to, yeah. to dye. How hard would it be? <laughs> <laughs> tie dye? <laughs> We've done tie dye. You've done tie, bro. Tie dye compared to like camo? Come on. If you can make tie dye yeah, work, well, you can we make this we work. Had four sides that were you know you dip it four different directions rather than oh, full camo. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Because I was thinking camo, you could like splash the colors on there. This is product <laughs> development, dude. This is what I'm saying. Like we, I don't, yeah, we need to have strong <laughs> dyes to to be able to penetrate. In the, the what do you dye. mean? You don't have strong dyes? We do, but they, we we gotta soak them. So to splash would be a difficult. Don't don't mind thing. me. I have no fucking clue what I'm talking about. I'm just having fun. <laughs> but it is rad though to take because I was never that dude to figure out the board and make my own shapes. Like some people are really critical mm -hmm. and really want to get in there and do that i was just never that person i could care yeah. less about whatever shape i'm writing it's just if i liked it i liked it yeah same you, same right you same. didn't pay attention to like the wheelbase like, or to nothing wow. Me nothing either. i found I mean, out late way later because i would just skate like 775 you had to give me that one because there was only one yeah. 775 in yeah, the lineup know it, but you're probably skating the same board the whole time yeah yeah i mean i wonder if it would have made a difference for me you know what i mean if i would have looked at it different like that you know I don't probably know. make your adjustment though, you know. Possibly, I, you know. Possibly. What do you mean, like made a difference? Like if you, I, I my approach to skating, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like it's it would be different because if I'm, you really cared about if what? I really cared about my equipment, <laughs> I'm almost thinking it's more of a curse, right? I mean, because now you're just thinking about every little detail of your board, right? And if something's not right and you have the wrong shape or the wrong press number, or like whatever, like right. they're Hey, but once you find that, dude, it is beautiful. Right. When you find your board, everything, it's But that's amazing. just it, though. I think we found our board. Like, totally. you would skate the same shape, right, yeah. all the time. But yeah. And then I slowly progressed to getting to bigger boards. Mm -hmm. So then that would change. So it would be like a, I don't know, GO22 or whatever it would, would be. You know, right. It wouldn't always, I would definitely change, but it would be like every, like, I don't know, five or six years or some shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. How many uh, companies do you print boards for or make boards for? It's got to be a ton. It's a ton, yeah. I like, uh, what, primitive to what? Yeah, um, are there, let me ask you a question. Before you, uh, just really quickly, are there companies that don't want people to know what, yeah, I was just about yes, to say who that. manufactures about, their boards? I was, yeah, that's where I was about to answer. Oh, um, no way. There is people that want okay. to keep their stuff 
you know. Was, Why? I don't know, but I, you know, I respect it, so I, I probably, you know. Oh, I feel okay. like this should. Be, I feel like this should be common knowledge. I feel like most it's not common do. knowledge, but I'm uh, like out there knowledge. Most people totally. do know that stuff for the most part. I remember yeah, back in the day, I think people, people know, but I mean, I think I, I actually don't know if anyone would mind talking right talking about it. But I, I they don't. They don't. don't, they don't you wanna, don't know if, don't they, assume if that, they have like so. exclusivity or this mm-hmm. or that or whatever, huh? But I, yeah, I, they want to know because, that they have the most solid product that that's theirs. You know, mm-hmm. and you can't get this nowhere else it's because. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. No, that, that was it. That was it. I, I was just going to say, <laughs> because like, you know, companies don't um, advertise who manufactures their boards. True. Mm-hmm. Right? It's not like they have a, uh, and I'm just going to say like a chocolate ad. It's like produced by BBS, mm-hmm. you know, or like PGI <laughs> or, yeah. you know, they, they, nobody does that. So it is kind of like, if you're not in the know, it is kind of like a secret. You don't mm-hmm. know who's There's been, been a couple brands that have adver- advertised it, you know, and put oh, it on really? the boards. But um, okay. yeah, for the most part, nobody does you know, Let me ask you a question. Do you have BBS stamps on each board? We, we've done a laser engraving on, on certain boards. And so we, not every board a, that leaves a factory. We have a sticker that, that we, we've offered to people that, that is like a BBS mm. stamp, kind of like a... Like a but it's not on every board that comes out. It's, if, no, it's not. It's, it's a, mm. if, if the brand wants it. If it's it's basically... Um, it's an authentication, authentication type? Authentication kind yeah. of that. It's, it's 100% so hard funny, maple. And it's, it's BBS product and it's us it's like um i wonder why a company wouldn't want them to want, want anybody to know Again. i mean if, if, if saying like like our stuff's different but a lot of this stuff is different you know it's like mm. it, certain companies most companies have different molds they use every you know there's a couple stock common molds but there's the majority that have their own molds mm-hmm. designed for them in their own shapes and mm. all that stuff so it, you know there is differences but but i could see Someone just not wanting to. Know, it's just weird because cu- like I f- the customer maybe. Yeah, but I feel like like BBS is big, right? Like you guys make manufacture like a lot of companies' boards, right? Mm-hmm. It, like I think people should be proud of that. You know, it's like you know, like, it's me too. Made in Mexico, <laughs> yeah. you know, made in Mexico. I think, I think it's are. like re- I, think, I do think people are right. Um, They're proud, yeah. right? I think it's are. like it's I, like I, I, I'm just being safe. Like when when I said that to Kelly, like about not. Disclosing, yeah, who not talking you, about, right? I, I think people are. I, I mean, they should be. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we're proud of it. I, think, like, I think most people that I think that's why they, you know, buy, work with us. Yeah, you know? but um, yeah, that's just safety precaution, basically. Yeah. Not we'll bleep out whoever, not whoever, whoever out or something like that. I yeah. mean, Kelly, you, you were talking about um, <laughs> what company beep, would you uh, beep, Acme? Ac- no, no, uh, who is it? What's a co- cliche? Oh, they're out of business. It's out of though. business. Ah, <laughs> two cares. That matter. <laughs> Low cliche. No, but it's like, you know, every board that comes out of like Professor Schmitz, you know, it's like they got the little laser on there. You know, it's like, mm-hmm. I think companies should be proud of what, I mean, like if you're putting out a product, you should be proud of what you're putting out. I think out. they are. I, I, I right. do. I do. I think that's probably, like I said, what, probably why they work with us. And yeah. How was, uh, so we're just assuming yeah. right just now as, that. I, Some yeah, companies don't want people to know. Being safe, yeah, basically. Mm. Just but I instantly it. knew that you were kind of like figuring yeah, out how yeah. you're going to answer that question because, yeah, yeah it's 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 almost a taboo. You don't yeah, ask, well, don't just, ask. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. weird, right? <laughs> yeah, I definitely think that's weird. And here's to be honest with you, dude. It's like when I when we were chocolate and everything, like. I didn't care where that board was coming from. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know where the boards were coming from. Mm-hmm. They would just show up and I'd be like, oh, cool. <laughs> I didn't know what company was making them. I, I didn't, I just did not care. Mm-hmm. What, what, what does it matter if I knew where it was coming from? Dude, I could, I would tell right away, but like, this is, this is a, this is a BBS board. That's a PGI board. Mm-hmm. And I could have the same 775 and, and they would feel completely different. Yeah, mm-hmm. me too. You, you know, it's really, you could tell the difference right away. Yep, I, so, I agree. It's wild. Um, oh damn, we have a whole Reddit list over here of all the companies, bro. <laughs> yeah, all I was the companies. Say, any company that you like, <laughs> your heart desires, you can find out where they're being manufactured. Totally. I don't totally. know. Ko, like oh, when I rode for Ko, it was all BBS boards, yeah. like mm-hmm. Expedition mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But dude, they make great boards. Mm-hmm. Like you guys are kill. Like you guys make good skateboards, man. I, I agree. I, I think. How is it? Best. That's pretty cool, actually. That you actually. Because real, is they mm-hmm. can you say real at least? Yeah, I can say that. <laughs> I, and, and that was like a, when I, you know, when I remember when real started making boards with BBS and being so stoked on yeah. the quality of the board. So that's pretty cool. So you now, ride, the, yeah, to the to where I'm at now. It's really it's it's really cool because. So do you get to be on the other? Do you, do you create? Did you create your own mold for the board you skate? 
No, I, I use the, the mold that I've been writing f since, you know, way back. Which one is that? It's mold four. Mold four. Yeah. And it's like at the bottom uh, or the top you like to take it? The it's... I like the top ones. Okay. I think you probably rode rode mold four, but you had said you wanted a, a mellower mold at some point. Yeah. To talk to you. It was like that stuff was driving me nuts. Not 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 you. Like when you're trying to find the shape, you know, you're like, you, you know, you want to find, yeah. you want to work with you guys, and like have the shape through you guys. But then I'm like, dude, this is gonna be a long process. Yeah. You Especially know, like a new mold kind of situation. A new mold is, is gonna be tough. A yeah. More that goes into it. So who do you work with? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's interesting, man. I, I love the, uh, again, I, I, th I find it interesting now, but I just, I did not care or even think about anything except for why. just the shape. I don't even know why. Well, cause you never even see the wood shops or like you never see these places. No. But the majority of skateboarders do not see it mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. So it's wild to even see it because most skaters have no idea how it's even made. Yeah. I would I would assume that. I, yeah, you yeah. can now, yeah. right? Well, 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 do people go to these? You places? guys are no, but it's on the internet, right? Welcome. You could go to BBS's website and oh, see yeah. the manufacturing and see all this stuff, right? P you people see would trip out if they knew how many people touched their board before you skated it. Yeah, like mm. at least forty people worked on one board. Wow. Yeah. We get when visitors come. It's definitely like a. It's pretty cool to show everybody. And I, like I was about to say, you guys, are, I you know it's far, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah. Guys are ever, Let's I go. would love to do that. You guys are. All, Let's go. That'd be amazing. More, more than welcome anytime to come. Wow. It's it's really it's 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 exciting. It's it's cool stuff. It's 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 really like a Willy Wonka chocolate factory oh, wow. skating. So I don't think we get visitors, and a lot of times people are like, I had no idea, you know what what goes into it. So. I, I think it's it's awesome when we have visitors come. Ro it's the show. Roger oh, said so. forty people. What what's the true number? Like how many people actually touch Roger, a board before it leaves the the, the warehouse? Roger's probably right. It Seriously, is, you know, there's it's a lot of people. Well, you, yeah, there's 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 veneer sorting. There's, okay, there's um there's people that peel the logs. There's oh, we're going deep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, tree, that, tree. if you're breaking it, yeah, back to yeah. Tree, tree. He's breaking it down even more from even how more, it just, yeah. it's from where it started. Yeah, where it's it started. A, the truck driver that's <laughs> driving those big logs, <laughs> <into the, laughs> picking those things up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, somebody had to do it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of people. Yeah, there's I a guess lot if you're breaking it down like that, for yeah. sure. And then the UPS driver, the UPS driver that's <laughs> yeah, dropping it off at the skate shop too. The Great Lakes. He's not quite touching the boards, but <laughs> but he's got a hand in it. <laughs> he's definitely got a hand in it. I love it. Well, how was it like during the the whole pandemic? Like, we always hear those board shortage or whatever. Like, how was that for you guys? It was pretty crazy. the 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 numbers were it went really far up. So it was yeah. Like, we couldn't keep up, and then now it's you know more normal. But it was pretty pretty crazy how 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 the board shortage stuff was yeah, really yeah. true i feel like it was more of a demand went up maybe because uh, people yeah. were were off work and yeah. because people you know were out of school and a so combination could, of everything yeah you could do yeah yeah and you could skating is one of those things you do by yourself and, yeah. and you could do that at that time maybe it was like one of the only things you could do mm -hmm. so i don't know if all these different things attributed to it but but it it was pretty pretty crazy hard to keep up and then also like getting shut down was yeah was, was hard too and and everything so so like yeah you're getting a demand for it, but everything's mm -hmm. getting shut down at the same time yep and then it was hard to get materials you had to be you know ahead of the game on, mm. on all that kind of stuff too mm -hmm. wow so, crazy Just nuts but you enjoy it yeah i, like I feel like you are you yeah. like what you do i do which is I, awesome yeah, definitely i, I I'm really lucky. To what especially, you coming, especially coming off of something that you, you know, obviously love to do, you mm -hmm. know, which is skating. And then working with the same people, you know, a lot. Yeah. And then the guys I work with now are like, you know, I learned a lot real quick from everybody. Nice. So. How long have you been there now? Going on seven years. Okay. Wow. Congrats, Seven dude. years. Cool. Yeah, definitely. We got to make some, uh, a nine club shape. Yeah. 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 Just let me know. I don't know what that would be, <laughs> but. I'll, I'll think of something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to put you to work. That's basically That's what fine. I'm saying. <laughs> what about if somebody has an outrageous idea? Does that go to you also? If somebody's like, I don't know, is it something like, hey, I want lights all around the side of it, or I want some inlay of this inside mm -hmm. the board or whatever. Like, yep. does that get tasked to you as well to try to figure that out? Or is that like a team? It's a team. Okay. Everything there is a team. For, it's, yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah, not, yeah. It's not just one guy, but uh, it, it's... 
it's myself and a guy named Greg that does the, the he's he taught me everything basically. I, I, I went to you know, when I first started there I went to like a night school to learn how to do some of the programming, but I learned more from this guy. And he's he's uh all that crazy stuff. It's it's us all kind of figuring out how we're gonna do it. Okay. You know? so, Huh. It starts with just like, we can't do that. And then, wait, wait, no, that's Maybe. not really acceptable to say. It. And then we go, okay, how can we do it? And, and yeah. Bounce, Love that. So you actually went to school, like I, took classes for it. I did, yeah. Like when I first started, I, I, uh, I started taking night school for, for CNC programming. Oh, and At okay. the same time, I was learning from. I was going to say, you get better, you get there. better teaching on the job. Totally. I, mm -hmm. I, I I don't even know if I needed the night school exactly. like in hindsight. You know, saying, right? I got more experience from did they doing it. Did they suggest that you would go to school or do you just like, no, I'm going to learn on my own? Or? No, it was suggested. Okay. A Adam Smith, he, he works there and uh, he, he, he kind of suggested like, hey, we'll, we'll help you with the school if you want it, but you should start working with Greg and, yeah, you know, like, well, like hell yeah, I'll do what I can to learn because I got to make up make up time here. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, so I yeah, I'm sure it helped a little bit, but you know, being on the job definitely probably that's ex expedited your your learning. Yeah, you curve. learn how to to do the basics in school, right? right? But then on the, the problems that come up, nobody could teach you that exactly. Right? So you don't you know you don't learn till. The problems happen basically. Right, to your hands we're, on dick. We were talking about, you know, people wanting lights on the boards and inlays and stuff like that. Um, is there anything crazy that you could think of that somebody's come in and be like, I want something like this? And you're like, um, there's a lot of like some, some of the like Mark and Zoll stuff is pretty crazy oh, seriously? as far as like the molds that he wants. Okay. That's pretty. Well, we got one right here. Was this one of, was this one? That was, yeah, that was. That was uh, this was, that one was a of challenge. The, this was one of the bareback. I mean, BB, yep. excuse me, BBS. <laughs> <laughs> that is. Wow. This is actually from a. Um, this is actually Mark Gonzalez board. He wrote it and um, Strobeck was, brought yeah. it for us. That's Amazing. Cool. Um, and so yeah, in his trunk. Yeah, it kind of smells like guns. <laughs> this stuff's always so, heavy because he'll send like, he'll send like a piece of clay that he molded. Like I'm thinking about this or. Through through uh, whoever at Deluxe, will okay. be like, yeah, I know it's kind of hard to to work with the, the little clay piece, but like, yeah, we got it. We oh, he sends he molds yeah. stuff himself, yeah, and then you have to kind of interpret that, or just a hand drawn picture or something. And I'm like, okay, he was writing a lot that. of these wow. boards though. He yeah. loved this this yeah. this this, uh, this shape, right? <clears throat> Got the wheel wells in there. Yeah, the Phantom maybe. Yeah, was I wouldn't. I wouldn't know where to begin. I would. I'd be the guy telling you to put lights on the side <laughs> of it. You know, it's like a soy hammerhead. So product development. That's pretty much your your main. That's pretty much your gig down there. Is just making sure everybody's happy and you're getting all the shapes the in and stuff like that. Development and then a, a little bit of like making sure, making sure things are going right with production stuff too. Okay. Right. How big is this facility we're talking about in Tijuana? It's pretty big. It's huge. Is it massive? Yeah, it's, I'd say like the size of a Costco, maybe. Oh, Damn. wow. It's, it's pretty big. Damn. Do you use like a, do you skate around to get from point A to point B or do you use a bicycle? Or? I skate from building to building because okay. we've got two separate buildings. That, ah. And I work on primarily in one. Okay. One of the, one of the ones. So, um, yeah, I go back and forth skating we, we got a bowl there too and some oh you got a yeah, so you got some skate stuff and yeah okay. bench and stuff right. so we got some stuff to skate there too so Super make a bbs rad. video <laughs> <laughs> hey what do you think the most popular shape is right now like size wise like is there one eight, that you guys three eight probably eight three eight maybe eight three eight eight five okay bigger Damn. than they used to be yeah yeah, yeah it's just man. Yeah. Remember when an eight was huge? Yeah. I was like, what? You ride an eight? You're yeah, out of your mind. It's crazy. Now it's so small. Crazy. I remember when 775 was big. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we were going from 7.5s. Yeah, 7.5, 7, 7 three quarter, and then the eight. Yeah. And it's like, again, slowly progressing more and more. And then I just stopped. I ain't getting to no eight and a half. <laughs> <laughs> definitely not getting to no eight and a half. You got to you gotta cut it off at some point, right? Mike, that'll be my cruiser board. Eight right. and a half's too big for me, too. What yeah. about wheel-wise? Because I remember back then, I would ride only 50 millimeter wheels for like forever. And now it's gotten pretty, like... 54 is the most yeah. common. Okay. 53. But the the bigger sizes are starting to, to be more common. I've, I've seen more more uh, 58s even and... and 
you know, yeah, it's wild. Too. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. So we're talking 838, you said? 838. 838, 54 eight. millimeter wheels. Seems to be the most, yeah. Um, crazy. That is weird. I, I want to set I mean, one yeah. of those boards up just to get a feel of how it feels. I mean, that's a board that like a cater would ride probably. Mm-hmm. Right? And yet he's fucking yeah, throwing he, that thing around. Like, yeah, I got to go work my legs out. That oh, shit. Yeah, I think he rides a, a huge wheel. <laughs> like a nine. Or uh, does he ride like a nine inch board? I think something like that. Yeah. What? Yeah. So I think so. That's nuts, dude. Going back to the bolt, what's popular nowadays, we're seeing a lot of the the twin tails, twin noses coming out of there, right? Is like, are, are, are you guys doing a lot of those? A lot of twins for a while. That was a big. It's been a big thing, yeah, right? It's, I haven't gotten much twin stuff recently, hmm. but that was like. You think that? You I think feel like w- every brand? You know what's weird is I feel like, I don't know if everyone just talks or I feel like within the same week I'll get a shape like that hasn't been around since the 90s requested. And I'm like, how did these, and I'm trying to, I'm like, these guys don't skate together. So how did, are we just, like, what what happens there? Right. To where who, everybody. What do you mean a shape that's well, like a 90s? Like, what do you mean? Or just like, like an egg shape. Like, oh, okay. And it'll be re- re- referenced. Like, we want a, like, a, like a Mike Carroll 90s shape. And I'm like, I know the shape you're talking about, but how did you know, how did, how did we get like three, two different three requests from three different companies that don't have anything to do with each other? Are they right. seeing, yeah. and I don't, I that's don't, so crazy. Are they seeing something on Instagram or something that like sparks them? And they're like, dude, that Carroll shape. Oh my God, that Carroll line Must was so something sick. Like that. And then now, be. It's it. Yeah, must be. Now there we go. Viral. Coming full circle. I want yeah. the, uh, the old, yeah, mm-hmm. retro. We want it back. The egg shapes. Those came back pretty. The egg shapes. Big time. For a while. Big time. I don't like those. That was like when I started skating. I think. Or no, it was like the skinniest board you could possibly find. <laughs> yeah, when you yeah. first started. The egg yeah. shapes are just weird to me. Egg shapes are good cruiser boards. I feel. Yeah, like. for sure. For sure. That's the way I look at it. I don't know. Yeah. Egg shape's weird to me, too. It's weird. I mean, skating is just so, man, it's just, it's what you like. It's what you don't like. It's it's very personal. Skating sure. is very personal sure. to, like, what shoes you're wearing, the clothes, the board, mm-hmm. the wheels, the trucks, the grip tape, bolts. It's crazy. And you get caught in your ways. You, you find something that works, and you don't want to change. Yeah. Try to, I well, yeah. I For never sure. really experimented. It. We, I would just stick to what, mm-hmm. I, you know. Me, too. Missed out, probably, along the way. But that's just the way it But worked. what would you have done, though? That's what I'm saying. I don't know. That's why I, <laughs> I was very basic with the shit. I mean, I just at that time, like, what would you... I'm, I'm just wondering what the dubs would do with the shape, you know? Like, would you go in and try to cater something to, like... Because, like, we had... You're talking about, like, girl with, like, you know, 18 different riders and, like, all these different shapes. Like, we had the choice of picking out like yeah. a bunch of stuff and it, we had a lot to choose from i'm trying to say yeah and chocolate and what was chosen was was right for us at that point i don't know it, it, again i didn't want to think about it too much because it skating is it's hard enough to think about let alone now i have to fucking think about the board dimension and the fuck no dude i'm going skating g22 works for me right right you know that's it and who probably designed those g22s is probably rick and mike for sure so leave it to those guys right and, and they're good get, at it. You get sent something at some point, and you you adjust, and you mm-hmm. get it to work, and then yeah. you're like, yeah. "Okay, cool. That's all I want. Yep. That's how I was. At least I I just went with what I got. Right. And then now that's all I skate. That's it. Right. And now I, now I test things. So I, <laughs> and now a lot of different stuff. Yeah. So so now I try to. <laughs> Does that mess you up though? Going from one shape to another shape, and just you you, you, know, you you're not sticking with your the test stuff. Luckily, like I I could control the shape, <laughs> but but uh, some of the other stuff, like the wheel stuff, the testing is. That kind of that, you have to go back to like a formula that you're you know so you have a baseline because sometimes you do lose because you know you you get excited you're testing all this different stuff and, okay and you go from one to the other to the other and you're like I've lost my reference point at some mm. point so right so I have to force myself to go back to do other you know formulas that I'm familiar with. Well, God bless you, man, because this sounds like my worst nightmare. <laughs> it's just fine. trying it's, to go it, through you know, all a, this stuff is it, like, oh my God. But Could when you get the imagined. right, when you finish and you get the right product, I mean, I'm sure it's, cr- oh, it's great. So, so it's a great feeling. It's such oh, a great yeah. feeling. It's, re- it's it's like skating. It, you know, there's a lot of failure and then you get like yeah. something that works. And, and yeah, then you see other people having fun of something that you helped uh, create. It's like, it's like a proud moment. Yeah, right? that's you really know, cool, yeah, man. Yeah, when you, Thank you for doing that, dude. That's cool. <laughs> A lot of skateboards, like, oh man, I made that board. Like, that's no one really. Well, says it comes that. from someone else's mind, so it's not like we're, you know. Well, you helped. But, you helped yeah, put it's, it is like. It's, well, you were one of the forty it's, hands that it's, made that. Yeah, happen. it's exciting. <laughs> it's a, it's, it's, he yeah. was number two or something. Yeah. He was very early on in the chain. Mm-hmm. You know? 
I just want to make a comment really quick because we've been sitting here for about an hour and 40 minutes and there's been a chunk of rock on our table <laughs> that everybody's probably like, when are they going to talk about this piece of rock that's on the table? Mm-hmm. This is from the Westlake Courthouse yeah. original fountain that you brought. I brought it. I love that. Because you guys have all this stuff. I feel, I feel like it would fit in. Oh, dude, um, it fit in. I, I, perfect. I took it when I was like 12 or 13 years old. My, I used to, I grew up skating the courthouse because my mom worked like um, two blocks away at a, bank called first professional bank okay Amazing. so she'd work on saturdays and she would just drop me off and i'd be there all day wow and, uh, nice. at some point i stole a a piece of the a piece of how were you there yeah. when they were in the when they were knocking all this stuff out they weren't this would if it were where the end of it where craiger did the backside flip over and the <coughs> switchback hill yeah that was all broken forever it was just kind of like oh you took a piece that I just you, before they loose. started yeah and i just took it okay you wow. stole a piece before. Yeah, okay. I got, yeah, I got pieces of certain spots. I'm kind of, what kind of spots? Oh, what wow. spots do you have? Yeah, I got a, a brick from EMB. Yeah. That's yeah. Got, uh, How'd you get that? I took stole it. Stole it? <laughs> 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 I went there. But then, then uh, I, I ended up, Frank Gerber actually did the same. I thought I was the only one that did that. Mm-hmm. And I was talking to Frank about it, and he he was like, I got some stuff too. And he one day like showed up, and he's like, this is a piece of Hubba Hideout. This nice. is a piece of B, this the three flat three and I was like any in the the uh, cardio rail so I'm like wow, wow. Dude, he's got he's the like, cardio rail yeah he's like you know that's so two sick. two nerds that are <laughs> appreciate each other I guess yeah isn't that cardio rail at deluxe yeah it was uh, it was they, there yeah. I think they like divvied it out into pieces and that's how I got oh, it. Okay. Wow. oh you have a piece of I, it I got a piece of it. That's yeah, amazing. That's sick. What kind, like how, what, what, how, what does this piece look like? Is it just like a little... It's just a piece of the rail. Like this that's big, it? Just okay. Just in my garage, just sitting there. This oh. was just there, too. And then when I was coming up, I was like, this makes way more sense, like right here. Right. Oh, we would have loved to see... Will you go real quick and grab the uh, cardio? <laughs> I would love to see the cardio. <laughs> I should have brought it. Fuck. No, that's no, but that's awesome. dope, though. That's cool that you kept some stuff. I mean, that's skate history right there, man. Wait, did yeah. you chisel out the brick at EMB? No, it was loose. It was loose. So, it was like, yeah, right, it, it was just like this. I didn't perfect. actually like. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get a piece no, of it. No, it just <laughs> fell in my lap. I love it. I, don't know. I love it. He's going to spots. Just he's got the little chisel and shit. Like <laughs> he's messing up every spot just <laughs> for his own. It's all in the corner, so it's like you know you can't tell. But I love it. Great shit. <laughs> so that was the piece of the fountain that they actually put. They turned it to grass at one point. The top. They they had, they the top was always there. The top of the fountain. Mm-hmm. And then where I I didn't not, see him I've, turn into the grass. I never I missed that. Yeah. So the, the one that I five owed and nose grind mm-hmm. that stayed there. Then the bottom fountain they demolished that and it was a grass there for I, for I years. That. Oh yeah, I do remember that. It was just grass. There it was, was no just wall grass, there at all. no wall. And mm-hmm. then they turned the up up top. They turned that into grass or bushes, like a planter type yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Which turned into a homeless encampment, I believe. Yeah. yeah. And we were then there today. yeah, was yeah. there somebody living up there? What is guy? It was like a, what's the guy set up shop? Yeah, yeah. Up? yeah. yeah. Um, and then when Nike came in and made it skatable, they rebuilt the fountain. Okay, so that's how. So that, that's how that. I was tripping about. when that became skate because we used to get kicked out. I think. I, yeah. Mm. Yeah. That was like our love park running from the cops. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was so fun. It was fun, right? Hell yeah. And they have different times they would surround it with like motorcycle cops would be coming down the long yeah, stairs. I and motorcycle like, cops, I do. People would be coming. They would they would literally raid the place. Mm-hmm. Like they would block every but exit. There was bums at that time too. So I was always tripping, like looking back. We're getting like, a ticket what, what and there's a bum taking guys? a shit yeah, in the what corner. About these dudes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Insanity. So crazy. They're worried about us. And now we're not well, worried about all the fecal matter around. I, mean, I think really. I've told this story before, but I got saved from a ticket at the courthouse. From a, a homeless uh, person who had a seizure, and the oh, guy was geez. writing the ticket mid ticket. My f- two friends had written two tickets. I was the guy, third guy. Halfway through, he's like, Today's your lucky day. You're not getting a ticket. Like, he'd stop running a ticket to go help the homeless guy. Wow. And I was oh. like, Damn. Oh, I've never seen timing. that happen. Yeah, I was, that was nuts. I've been sat there with 40 skaters on just every ledge, just ticketing by, you know, like you're. If you were the 35th person, you're bummed because it's yeah. dark out now and you got to get home. Take went, the last he went bus. went way above his quota that day. Crazy. <laughs> He's Crazy. like, dude, guess what I did today, guys? Yeah. You guys want to make some money? You guys go to the courthouse, dog. <laughs> How many tickets you write today, bub? <laughs> I went 20 over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I had, dude. I do people still get tickets for skating? Yeah, I'm I, sure. I haven't sure. seen that happen for a long time. It has been a minute. I've gotten a bunch, but that like was recently. Years, no, no, yeah. like ten years ago. Yeah, I haven't gotten yeah. any recently. It's like a jaywalking ticket. It's like a sixty dollar ticket or something. I got a Depends. jaywalking ticket. That's the dumbest. Sh- Me ever, too, actually. Yeah, that's a- ever. That's like the most Southern Orange exactly. County thing I've ever, or California thing I've ever heard. A jaywalking ticket? Yeah, it was in the valley, too. I was oh, really yeah. disappointed. Was a major street? It was. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> Just crossing the street. I was going, I think, to the bank, to the ATM or whatever. You got to, like, make it to the middle lane and then, like, keep and then go no it wasn't one of those extended streets oh, okay. where yeah, yeah, yeah you can wait in the middle busy. it was just i don't think it, there was any crossing and i just crossed mm. he's like you just did that in front of me i'm like dude i need to cross the street <laughs> whatever i did it safe I got, got over there safe as of january 1st 2023 jaywalking is illegal in california oh my gosh wait what it was, wasn't illegal what? before yeah, wasn't it always that's what i'm saying yeah like, why would you get a ticket if it wasn't if it was legal I mean, dude, uh, East Coast, that is not even a thing. No, wait, wait, not wait, at yeah. all. wait, you're saying it was it's is, legal now? Il, no, wait, jaywalk. Here, look, I got it right here. Is jaywalking li- illegal in California? As of January 1st, 2023, jaywalking is illegal in California per vehicle code 21955 VC only if there's an immediate chance of a collision with another, with a motor vehicle or bike. Therefore, if there is no close oncoming traffic, you can jaywalk without fear of being ticketed. So you could fight the ticket. What is that? Wow. It has, it, to be a clo- so. it has to be a close call. What was the photo of that? Was that guy like holding something on his head? <laughs> I don't know. I think he's vaping or something. <laughs> like, what? It's a big <laughs> cloud over his head. Anyways. Well, JT, I'm so glad you're doing the, the BBS stuff and you're having fun. You're still in the skateboarding world and still skating and you've got pieces of famous skate spots that you keep <laughs> yeah. in your garage of all play put it in your mantle let's get a little case going yeah. well this is the mantle here oh yeah, yeah. Oh, well, so you brought it for us i got it for you guys yeah nice thank bro. you dude oh yeah. shit wait so what about you what about you have another piece i have another piece that's okay that big but i didn't break it to bring you half yeah. <laughs> it, didn't, it, didn't, it didn't go down like that yeah. you're like <laughs> if, if, if it was together already, I had a whole tile at some point. And That's dope. It, and during a move, it broke. Oh, it broke. Mm. But Dude, so thank you for that. That's yeah, amazing, that's man. Because, I mean, that place is getting torn down sometime this year. That's what Tim to, was telling me. To make a crazy apartment complex something or other yeah. and um so yeah. it's gonna be gone soon you know i'd like to get a piece of the stage if possible that'd be really cool just to have as there. well maybe we'll put it right next to uh the the fountain there we could have mm-hmm. a little well, yeah we'll recreate the whole <laughs> we'll get pieces and just recreate our own stage love it well we got gifts for you <laughs> uh, yes yeah we're gonna give you a, can we uh kelly we do the honors of course we could grab JT. what size uh what size shirt are you Medium. Medium. All right. Got you. Any other Thank piece you. of memorabilia that you really, really, really would love to have, but you don't? No. I th- a piece I get, of something? Webb Park was a place I grew up skating, and I got a piece of that ledge when they tore it out as well. Which so which, nice. which which spot was that? That was... Uh, the one with the benches down the stairs? Yep. Yep. The one... Uh, Willie, Santos. Like Willie Santos. Willie Santos. Mm. Yeah, Willie. Oh, Eric Austin. Mm. Eric Austin, back had, nose blend 270. He did. Down the stairs. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Danny Way might have back nose blended it. Danny Way. Yes. Yes. He while Willie... like. Owned that place. That's where I started skating, and he was like, "Yeah, Willie Santos." Was in the town he was so good. Where I was born, so in good, bro. We gotta get Willie on shit. I know Willie yeah, Santos. Yeah, oh, thank you, crazy, bro. Thank you, bro. Oh, it's the H thank Street. You. Oh, this one right here. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. We already went past it. There yeah. it is. Yep. Gosh, man, these are the memories right here, man. You know what's crazy is right there. So right there. Keep going. Right, that's ne- next planner. You see how there's a planner that he's landing on, and then the planner, the oh, next yeah. one? Or maybe it was that planner, Boy, toe touched right there. I know, sure. I never <laughs> Come on, that. Costin. Never so noticed that. Years later, they tore out most of the park, but they still have that two-stair there, and we, we put, like, a at some point, a picnic table down there, and then we brought a bench again. And there were that tree right there was a tree stump, and... Mm-hmm. And it was kind of sketchy, like you feel it felt like you could get your head on the mm. on the stump. Mm-hmm. So we all started digging and digging and digging and digging, and we took the stump out and we found a wheel that was like a like a forty millimeter wheel, like from back then. Yeah, right. Whoa. Yeah, it was nuts. I wish I saved it, but we're like, oh, what? Man. It's an ancient <laughs> artifact. This is crazy. In the dirt that had been just in the sucked dirt, like down way, in, way down. It got buried. Wow. Yeah. From like you guys just that threw it out. It was probably Eric Costin. Somebody took it. He's setting up some new wheels in this in there. H Street video mm-hmm. part. 
What was that park called again? Web. Oh, Web Park. Sorry, Web, yeah. Web Park. Web. Park. Never went to that spot. That was like the first place I ever. Listen, JT. So man. Rad. First of all, bro, thank you so much, dude. It's such thank a good, you. so, so yeah, good seeing you again, dude. Yeah, yeah, I haven't yeah, seen yeah, you in yeah, what? Yeah, what did we? What did we come up with? Twenty five years. A lot, it's yeah, crazy, a time, bro. It's, it's cool. Well, we're we're, we're we'll work on um, some skateboards, maybe. That we go cool, with little lights on the side and stuff, and it'll <laughs> inlay. Yeah, yeah, you guys, you should come. Seriously. Love to see that more, place more anytime. Yeah, let me know, and uh, I'm gonna get you guys some of those frames. Dude, Dude those frames are awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Yep. Stoked. Don't feel obligated though, man. You know, no, but if, 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 if it comes around, I'm you know, stoked you guys like them. Dude, That's they're really sick. Cool. They are dope. Uh, skaters supporting skaters. That's our motto right here cool. on the Nine Club. So there's a uh, a shirt there. Uh, yeah. Skater supporting skater shirt. And we got the old, uh, listen, it's getting a little cold. I don't know how it is in TJ. I'm sure, I'm sure it's the same kind of weather <laughs> weather down there. But a uh, little um, crew neck right cool. there with an embroidered nine club there. Take that home awesome. with you. Stoked. And uh, we, you got to have the muska, the Kropska mm -hmm. mug right here. You know what I'm saying? That's great. Goddess, gra Goddess Graphics did that for, for me. And then uh, Yeti. Damn. We got the Yeti. Co you like you drink yeah. coffee down yeah. there? Okay, there you go. Thank you. you. Know, you <laughs> anything? Great, thank you. And uh, listen, so we've been uh, we've been blessed. Nixon gave us a bunch nice. of watches, so we're gonna pass on the uh, the 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 Nixon uh, watch to you as well. We got a bunch of them. We so, I mean, they just did a Santa Cruz like thing, nice. uh, a little collab stuff. Cool. So here's a Nixon mullet watch cool. for you. Beautiful. I haven't even I haven't seen it yet, but let's just no no, no here you you will. Uh, I'm not. Um, <laughs> Opening up his present. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Put it on. I know. I was like, <laughs> oh, you know so what? I'm, I, you know what? I'm going to keep this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to wear this out. Yeah. But uh, cool. no, that's for you, dude. And again, oh, wow. man, let's see it. Let's see. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, that's cool. nice, yeah, bro. Nice. Look at that, dude. Thank you. Okay. Nice you Nixon you, piece there. Now you won't be late. Now I won't be late. Yeah. <laughs> you cross the cross old border and everything. Do you have to have a passport now to go into Mexico? Or could you just still use your ID? They you can still use your ID. Okay. They say you need a passport, they, you know, but they're not going to not let you back. In. Got you. Yeah. Okay. You could still, still Pretty soon you need the real ID. Yeah. I have that already. You already got it? Yeah, a while wow. ago. Good for so you. So what, I got a fake ID? <laughs> yeah, it's just another layer of ID you need. <laughs> but now they pushed it. You don't need it as soon as, as they said. They said you're going to need it at the beginning of this for like year. For like traveling and stuff? Yeah, so yeah. They're, they're pushing it to, I believe, middle of next year. Hmm. Right. I have to go get my license renewed. Does that mean I have to take the test again? The written Ooh, test? No, not, not written test. Oh. I've done mine through mail. Yeah, I've done mine through mail too. Okay. Because I, so yeah. I went a couple of years ago and I did it. And it you know how nerve wracking it is to go into that test, even though I know everything? You're going to get one thing wrong and then your license is gone. No, I, I think people need to go take that. The, the, <laughs> the amount of idiots that are out there driving, you know, I, I swear to God, everybody needs to go take that. I'll, I'll go take the test just because of all the dumb idiots out there that are on our roads right now, not knowing how to drive. Makes me there's so a, mad. There is a lot of them. That's for sure. Put the test on an autopilot. You know what I wish? That's I, it. I shit. will wish. I would love, and we'll get out of here, dude. I just, I'm venting real quick. <laughs> gridlocked intersections give people a 500 hundred dollar ticket for gridlocking an intersection mm. everybody out there that doesn't know what i mean mm -hmm. that gridlock an intersection you're making like you're trying to get through you, it you try to get through it but you get stuck in the middle and the light mm -hmm. turns red and then everybody else has to suffer suffer because of your idiotic move yeah <laughs> oh Chris you would hate getting... tijuana <laughs> <laughs> they do that professionally yeah, there. Dri driving yeah, down do that there. Professionally. Well, you but have to here, your driving. But here, there. it's like, I mean, even at a stop sign, when you're, there's a person at a stop sign and the other person is at the other end of the intersection, but they still go. And now they're mm -hmm. blocking the intersection. Mm -hmm. Give them a $500 ticket and I bet you they won't do that again. It's so true. It'd probably be effective. <laughs> there it is. Chris Damn solving true. the problem. There Chris for is. governor. <laughs> Let's go. I'll turn the city around, baby. <laughs> I'm totally kidding, but uh, I'm not though. I hate that sh gridlock shit. <laughs> JT, thank you so much for coming oh, by, you. dude. It's been yeah, an yeah, honor, pliv privilege, so and uh, dude, thank you so much for the uh, the courthouse mm -hmm. memorabilia as well. Mm -hmm. You're the man. Oh, thank, yeah. you. thank you, dude. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you, guys. Yeah. Yeah.